Dun, dun, Joe Exotic. Joe Maldonado Passage. <laughs> and you know his last name, Dude. Maldonado Passage, no. is a hyphen of Travis Maldonado. Aww. Sweet, hot, Travis. tall. I love Travis. Travis. Poor Travis. That was a travesty. That was a travesty. He was just so good looking. And then his new husband that I actually think is really loves him. The Yeah. What's his name? Olson the la- the last one. So it's something passage. Oh, okay. So it's a hyphen of the two husbands that he loved the best. Really? Notice the toothless, uh, toothless By the way, honey is not on that hyphen last name. Well, also that motherfucker gave him up in court. Oh, that's right. And now he was very bitter. Do you know that he had teeth to begin with? Oh, yeah. And they had and the him. Netflix series had him take out the teeth and sit shirtless purposely yeah. for just dramatic effect. Yes. I Same do. thing with the, uh, the the stub chick who I loved, who was who was like probably the most constant character throughout just normal, the most normal character. Right, I guess normal. Yeah, sure. who got her arm bitten off? Yeah, and then went back to the. They said they purposely like set her behind like a junkyard. Oh yes, for the effect of everything. Look, whoever made that series deserves all the awards. They really did it right. It was perfect for these quarantine times. But if you haven't seen Tiger King at this point, oh my we lord, can't really. Help what are you, you doing out. with your life? <laughs> we can't really help you out. I mean, do it if you want, but the time has passed. Yeah. Um, how is your quarantines <laughs> been? They're going great. Are they going great? Yeah, they're not. I mean, they're not going bad. Really? Yeah, they're going. Okay. I mean, they're going okay. Which I figure <laughs> we can. Sounds great. It yeah, sounds like I feel like I'm really trying to convince good. myself. Yeah. Here. Sounds like they're going really good for you. <laughs> I figure we can get into that here in a second. I was super excited to come in today because I haven't been in for a few weeks. Yeah. And we had this amazing delivery. Oh, yes. Dude, I don't know if you guys can see, but right here, we have no longer have that awful looking TV with the terrible digital yes. drinking barrettes on it. We have this amazing metal piece. Yes. From Military Metal Art. Military Metal Art. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff. I've been following here, them but. on Instagram for a while. I absolutely love all their art. They made us this incredible piece with drinking barrettes. Perfect. I mean, it's they were amazing. Like, and in person, it's even more beautiful. Beautiful. I'm. I think on camera, it's gonna really kill it with the ivy behind it. It's just oh, fucking probably. perfect. We're gonna get it hung up. We, yeah. Maybe we can even get rid of the ivy. Maybe do a drapery sure. around it. Right. Yeah. 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 But they are a veteran-owned company. Um. And the thing I love about it too is they're American-made. Yeah. And if you guys want to find them, you can find it at militarymetalart.com or militarymetalart on Instagram. Um, so currently right now I looked at their website, which I think this is awesome. They have this medical love art, right? Which is like the medical sign and hundred percent of the proceeds for this artwork is being donated to the COVID-19 solidarity response fund. Nice. So basically this is getting all the supplies and support to those healthcare workers and medical personnel who need it most, which is so important during times like these. Yeah. They also have this really gorgeous American uh, warrior metal art, which is, I think the guys will love this. It's a Spartan mask, right? Like a badass Spartan mask that has an American flag on it. And part of me is like, I kind of want to buy that for Chris, but really it'll be for myself. Yeah. (laughs) Really, it's really perfect. Perfect. But they are constantly promoting and supporting all military branches, our fire departments, our LEOs, everyone. And of course, like they're a veteran owned company. So thank you guys. Oh my God. Everyone in the office was just like, I know, dude, jealous. So they're going to be hitting you up. Metal, uh, military metal art for sure. Uh, Be waiting for a call from Ross Patterson because he's going to want some stuff. I literally gave him this, right? I gave him the logo. So I have a feeling if you give him any type of concept, they'll make it for you guys. Yeah. Even better than you think it will be. I'll tell you that right now. That's what happened with us. so. So thank you guys. For the love and support and for this amazing sign that I feel like represents us way better than what we had beforehand. Yeah. It's just fucking badass. <laughs> it's real. I know. And they gave us some t-shirts and stuff. And we have one more thing, too, which I figure we get to do at the top of the show. Right. Oh, OK. I haven't even seen this. Um, so this was from this is from a listener. Um, her name's Becky Ford. And she decided to she makes jewelry. 
And uh, she kind of just does it for fun, but she wanted to make us, you know, some jewelry to brighten up our day. And she hopes it makes us smile, like, during these times. Oh, my gosh. And so she made us these earrings and everything, which are, like, super, super cute. Holy yeah. shit. I know. They have, like, little um, what am I taking? feathers oh, okay. and stuff on them and, oh, like, dude, different these colors. Are awesome. She, she asked her colors. Girl, you are talented. So what? I don't know if you guys want to hit up Becky Ford for some awesome jewelry. Like, these are really cute. Look at these Look at this. studs. I know. Those are awesome. Made by hand. And a little uh, bracelet and everything. So this was like, this This is one of the sweetest gifts ever. That's so thank you awesome. so much for that. We really appreciate it. These are these really speak to my to my hipster self right now. Listen, us blazer, blazer bitches. Blazer oh my bitches. God, those are really cute on you. Right? So Holy the shit. one Jesse just put on, if you guys aren't on the uh, YouTube show, to YouTubes, they have these yeah. little feathers on them, kind of like in front of a little plank. Oh my god! Yeah, those are super cute. Yeah. This can go with anything. Love it. You know what love I mean? it. They're going with anything right now. So They're thank going you again, with everything, Becky. Oh my god, that was really sweet of you. We're putting them on right now. Dude, so I was we just appreciate the other day because I was like. If I'm not you here at work, I'm just like uh, in a like leggings and Adidas shirt or whatever, and just oh, like you're better no, than me right now. No makeup I'm or anything, and sweat the same sweats. But you, yeah, but you kind of want to like zhuzh a little bit sometimes. So you're like, do I put on an earring, a lip? Dude, this maybe an are, earring and a dark lip, and isn't you can it just really what turn it around. Do for a girl, you yeah. know what I mean? Like the dangles. Isn't it amazing what um, ethnic? hair can do for you too as well <laughs> what yeah. were you thinking uh look and i really like a, it now actually now that it's like relaxed a little bit okay. but do you want to talk about um the interview with colton and you decided if anyone yeah. saw it you thought what did you think so th- i've had some time on my hands yeah uh, so a little bit were, at night right when i just kind of like want to zone out before i go to bed you yeah watch some internet tiktok videos whatever um I saw this girl, she did her hair with this curling iron that, that I decided to buy, and it was super cute on her. I'm telling you, she went from, like, a five to a fucking fifth. Like, she looked so fucking hot with her hair curled. Okay. And I was like, oh, my God, maybe I can, That's me. Maybe like, I can look like that. That's me. She also had short hair. See, now, it I looks think little, that's... Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, a little bit shorter hair. Because I was thinking with that, if it was a bob... It would be. I know so we would talk about then that. You could like because I look really like really throw it out. I look like Ashley from the Real Housewives of Potomac. Yes, you know that I mean? was a Kinda, good but call not on as, that. Yep. So I look like her. Um, anyway, I bought it right, and you bought so, the wand. I bought the wand, which is called. I have it here because people have been asking me. Like yeah. I don't know if they see it, but um, it's called the chopstick styler. It's the hero version of it. It's like the smallest one. You, it's like the size of my pinky. It's the size of your pinky, you guys. And she curled every. If no one's Piece. watching, she's yeah. So I saw the girls on the internet and in the boxes and on the website. I'm like, sure. damn, they look cute because they had like the halvesies up, and it was. Oh, all... see now that looks cute. I know, but I always do halvesy, oh, right? Okay, yeah. And so, yeah, that could look there better. There you go. Yeah. With so, an earring? I know, with the earring. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it, I'll do it. And I was like thinking to myself, I'm going to look good for the Obviously. cold interview. Like, I'm going to look like these hot girls on these boxes. And then, of course, I tried out a um, tanning product the night before. Yeah, which yeah, I yeah. kind of failed at a little bit. So there I am, a tan mess with... A dozel, if you will. Ethnic-looking hair on yeah. a white girl. And don't get me wrong, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. nothing wrong with any ethnic-looking hair. Actually, in fact, I have a lot of respect for women with his hair and how they have to take care of it right oh my gosh like with just curly hair you know what you right. mean right like i told all the curly hair girls today i was like oh my gosh but i i'm white <laughs> if you're not watching the video uh tiffany just said she's white which she is yeah um so it looks like i'm trying to be but it was just part of um quarantine times like you're just trying different Things, with the right? tan, you're like with, bored, with the tan like, combined and with my hair being so curly, it looks like I was trying to be someone that I'm not. Right. That's really all we're trying to say here. That's all. <laughs> that's all it was, and it was for a day that in our show could have been. I mean, possibly was like one of the biggest guests we've had. It was the biggest guest we've ever had, and cutest, and like super cute, really great guy. But also, and like, I was so insecure about the way I looked that day. Please, I was though. Why, guys? 
<laughs> at first, I got to be honest, when I first did it, when it was all to like one side, mm-hmm. I took a couple pictures and I was like, okay, I'm feeling myself. And then once I got there and I kind of saw myself, I was like, this is not good. And Colton, being the nice gentleman that he is, sure, was like, oh, no, you look good from here. And I was like, little did he know. I mean, little did anyone know. <laughs> I'm starting to realize I, think I look like a fucking you were speck. Puerto Rican. Probably. So he was like, yeah, what, what's wrong with that? Like, he couldn't tell, I, I don't think, that you were a white girl. A, a legit yeah, white yeah, down yeah. to the bone. And then he's like, Tiffany, what? And like, that sounds like, and he couldn't really see. And so it was kind of like, yeah, I mean, what's wrong with the curly haired Puerto Rican girl named Tiffany? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, sure. And he just kind of glossed over it. But I thought it was fun. You literally can never look bad. So it wasn't like, oh my God, Tiffany's hideous. It was just, just like, it was different. a bit much for me. It was a, yeah. It was just way different. I just felt like as the all. day went on, I felt a little bit more insecure. And it got to the point where it was just humorous then, right? You like have afterwards, to lean I was just like, I am, why am I like this? And I decided to try all this shit. Like, I couldn't look like a, like a normal me. Because, like, I think we're getting bored. Like, I don't I am know, getting bored. I don't know about you. I don't like to be too down about it. Like, yeah. I do want to be positive. Me too. But I also want to tell people, which I did on Ross Patterson Revolution, was like, it's actually okay if you don't feel super positive right now. Like, yeah. it's it's okay if it's like everything feels shitty, and yeah. it goes in waves, right? It so does. like some I days say I feel I'm like, like I have waves. Some days I'm like, hell yeah, I'm gonna go for a run. It's nice out, nice. Like quarantine's no big deal, and then Correct. I'm just hanging out with my kids. And then some days you are like, oh my god, I'm gonna lose it. I don't know what's going on. This Correct. is crazy. What what am and then I'm how analyzing do I even everything. Ta- yeah, how do I even talk to people? Like, what if I did hang out with someone? Like, would I even know how to like? do a conversation oh, so you like, have a very different perspective because with me part of me goes okay i'm enjoying the outside and working out and going wow this is really great chris and i get to spend some more time together we're doing stuff around the house we haven't been able to do and then the next moment i'm like dude the economy my business other people's yeah. businesses that's where it scares me a little bit because i'm kind of like i'm hitting a lot of roadblocks oh, dude well that for sure and that's more so scary to me because i'm like fuck okay that's what's gonna happen sure. and how is this gonna how is this going to affect things down the road yeah. like you know and that's where my mind goes to where i'm like i just want this shit to fucking end you know, yeah, yeah, for sure. But I think like that and like the safety of others too. Yeah, hearing just reports, and I think there was something too where I saw some medical professionals stating like how depending on what state you're in, when the the virus is going to hit you the worst, or when the hospitals are going to be kind of like maxed out, and they had dates for this. Yeah, and you know my parents are a little older, like in their sixties and. Uh, they're in Missouri and I saw like the date from Missouri was like 520 I'm like or 515 I'm like dude that's late May yeah and I don't I heard some states like Georgia and stuff like in Florida who did close down their beaches after 10 days of reopening them back up because they're kind of like oh 10 days was enough it's like <gasps> yeah is it because people are st- here's the thing people are still out and about like a lot mm-hmm. uh, people are still out and about so even the stay-at-home order is technically not really a stay-at-home order so i feel like the minute you start opening all these like places back up it kind of makes it harder to want to stay in to shift to and i'm sorry but i kind of hope it does i think it's going to shift to like we all stay home we're all staying home and then at a certain point we have to be like okay we've gotten the number down to a certain amount and then mm-hmm. the people that are at risk are older need to stay at home. Yeah. And the people that need to work and save businesses and save the country need to go back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But for right now, the only way to stop it is for everyone to stay home. Everyone, everyone, right? Well. But that cannot be the way that it is for the entire time. Like there yeah. has to be a certain Well, some people point. are saying it's going to last. This is going to last like stay home orders until June, July. Yeah, they're saying, but I mean, I think they're going to reassess it for sure. sure. And then like uh, sports are starting again. Beaches in Georgia are opening up. Florida's open, opening up. So I think it'll kind of be of like, hey, we got everybody to stay in. Now it's going to be the people that are at risk. Stay there. Well, it's weird. And everyone else that needs to save their business that they fucking like yeah, are going to. That's like the biggest thing. Take yeah. care of all their generations behind them are going to go back to work after six or seven weeks. Like that has to be enough like we can't lose everything that we have California, you know california just made it mandatory for everyone to wear masks there right yeah so like i think it's funny that you have some states opening up public places like beaches and stuff again but then you have california who's laying down even more yeah well they're they're hot spots right so like new york and california and seattle they need to be 
Michigan, uh, apparently, like, Michigan's really bad. Michigan, what's all these like places that have a lot of low income and homeless. So that's where the you, hardest hit is. So it's like New York. Did you hear what the governor of, I think it was the governor of Charlotte did? What? So the reason why Charlotte is a hot spot and the reason why North Carolina, at least supposedly after I was reading and hearing a bunch of stuff, got put on a, the whole state of North Carolina got put on a stay at home order, obviously for 30 days, right? Because the governor of Charlotte decided to take a bunch of homeless from New York. Oh, after take them in? Take them in after there was a bunch of issues. And I guess all of a sudden Charlotte then blew up with the yeah. virus. Yeah. So that's kind of, you can track the hot spots by their amount of homeless. I know. Yeah. I so mean, it's, it well, is it's hard what to protect it is yourself. And like, right? Exactly. When you're out on the streets and you're exposed to everything. Exactly. But, and they don't have the money to have protective gear. Shit. You can't even get healthcare workers right now to have pr- some of the protective gear, gear that yeah, they yeah, need. Yeah. The, and, you know, 95 masks and stuff. Because yeah. you have fucking idiots buying everything up and hoarding it at their damn houses. Yeah. Which we can talk about that here in a second, too. Yeah. But, um, I mean. Yeah. So, how is it? So, you tell me how the quarantine's treating you. I mean, I'm Hi. fucking over it, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm really over it. Uh, but how are you doing? How are you and um, the hubs doing? Uh, I'm just with him all the fucking time, dude. Like, <laughs> I don't know how you we're do that. we're at work talking to each other I know. all day. And then we go home and like, we don't really I just don't really want to talk to him anymore. I don't blame you. Do you know what I mean? Like, there I've said times, everything I need to say to you. Well, there's even some times that even after doing a few days of podcasting. Right. And you don't want to talk. I, like, I don't when I go home, I don't really want to talk. And you know, it's not like in a bad a way to him. It's just kind of like, hey, I'm talked out. Can I just turn my brain off for a second and cuddle? Sure. Watch a movie? Sure. But minus the cuddling, but yeah. Well, yeah, you're with Ross all day long. Yeah. And I just, just a lot. But I also have two kids that are in the house all the time. Mm-hmm. So they're going crazy. I'm sure. Um, so that's part of it, too. I'm like yelling at my kids way more than I ever have, like just not even everyone's wanting. a little bit more on edge definitely on edge they're on edge because they're any- like why don't i get to leave my fu-? i mean I they know. have not left their house besides going in the backyard for two weeks like yeah. for a kid that doesn't know that they're keeping other people safe or mm-hmm. they're making sure grandma doesn't die like they don't understand that yeah. right they're just like dude what the fuck and then you start to get like dude what the fuck yeah. you're right like well their daily schedule that they've been used to for what five six years you know that's it. And it's, even friends. like we completely live completely changed. We live in a neighborhood where all your friends are like, literally, you just walk right next door and you play with your friends. And you can't do that, but you can like hear them playing. Mm-hmm. And so it's this weird fucking thing. And then also our neighborhood is like dividing between like the people that are really quarantining and then the people that are like kind of hanging out. Really? And they're like putting all these passive aggressive. There's a Facebook like. Thing for do the you guys whole, have a homeowner association? We do, but like the Facebook for the neighborhood, I won't say what the neighborhood is, but we have like a Facebook moms of blank. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so it's just a place. It's usually a place Are to be like. people passively aggressing and posting like staying yeah. in and quarantining? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And there's like comments and shit too. So like uh, oh my God, there's, these, so there's these people that live. This is what happens a, when people get bored. When they get bored or when they get high and mighty, right? Let me make sure We've one talked- thing. We've talked about. <laughs> this is what. Sorry, folks. This is. <laughs> Whatever happens on the show happens on the show, guys. This is what happened. No, this is the real deal <laughs> stuff. Okay. This is what you came for, people. This is. Listen, leave we don't. In, we don't edit. Leave it in, edit anything okay. out of this. You guys get the no, whole. You get the, real the whole deal. thing, no We're matter what. Mom and pop <laughs> operation over here, guys. Okay? By the way, you know they can't hear you. You're like an echo from a distance. Yeah, I know, but they, you can still hear me. Uh, okay, here I am. Here I am. So you have so, this Facebook page. So yeah. Um, so it starts to get, and I think it's dividing everybody, right? Even between your friends. Like you'll find out. I was just talking about this with Tara Whisper, right? Where like you really find out what people are really scared of, mm-hmm. or like what they can handle, oh, sure. or whatever. So there's like these people in call to. You don't know someone. I'm gonna tell you this right now, just from military experience and doing interrogation for four years. You don't know someone until you see them in a kind of like 
survival life or death what they feel like dude, that's scenario with, and then you really see how oh, they dude, handle that's things with anything the that's flight with, or fight instincts kick in yeah and you either see them give up everyone and fucking buckle and yeah, just, yeah yeah or you see them fight and you're it's crazy because yeah. there's people who i was like oh my god they're they're gonna be super badass who i need be like in these situations yeah. and they're the ones fucking blowing a gasket and going crazy and thinking of no one but themselves and you're like wow that was that was not good yeah. I didn't expect that, but yeah. now you know. Yeah. You've seen their true colors. What's well, the test of anything, right? Like a marriage or anything? Yeah. Like, or even a relationship. Like, you guys can have all the fun in the world, like drinking, going out. You do really well with that. And then you have to see hard time. if something happens bad, that's when a relationship really turns into something else, right? Yeah. Otherwise, you're just like having fun and you only deal with good things and Correct. blah, blah, blah. But um, so there's these cu- these families that live literally right next to each other in co- in a cul-de-sac mm-hmm. so it's like and they th- one of them only has a front yard kind of deal so it's like the kids are out there in the front yard whatever they both are staying home like they're not going anywhere instacarting everything working from home they're not leaving right so mm-hmm. it's kind of like for me i'm like why don't you guys just hang out yeah. like you both know where you're going like you both know you don't have it like yeah as long as nobody else is like coming into your shit like you two families can play right yeah It sucks for everyone else that like is still doing stuff and you hear them playing or whatever. But why couldn't they do that? Right. Mm -hmm. And so then there's other everyone has a different mindset with it all. Exactly. You know, and they have a different. Well, it's like you just want to make sure other people are safe. Right. So them being quarantined at their house and not leaving right next to each other and making it one big kind of quarantined family. That's like quarantining. Right. Mm -hmm. Like no one else is coming into their situation. Um, and then there's people like us that like, we have to go to work, so I'm not going to go play with them because I'm leaving Sure. and like going and you to could, work. You and just never know. Well, even if you go to the store, you shouldn't be hanging out with other people. Right. Yeah. But if you literally just stay at your house and do nothing, there's no way that you can get it. Right. Um, but then they're getting like comments from other people in the neighborhood. They're like, if you're still letting your kids play, you're the fucking problem. And it's like, you know maybe that's true but it's just fucking weird to say it yeah you know i mean this is kind of like the same thing with how you live your life and how you raise your kids and how you decide to do certain things as fucked up as it sounds you know even though there is a stay at home order even for the state of north carolina they were like yes stay at home however you can still go to the liquor stores if you need liquor you can still go to grocery Grocery stores if you need groceries you still can go through drive throughs like just you please be get, safe when you go out. That's, yeah. I mean, basically, he said, like, you guys can't really work. No. Right? But you guys can still go places if you guys need things. Please go outside and enjoy the nature and everything else. Yeah. Right? And work out and run and hike. Like, that was it. So it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, okay, just be – they want people to be smart and be safe. And how people decide to do that, it's kind of like – It's kind of up to them. And, like, it turns into this thing where people are telling – like – Anytime you give somebody like a moral fucking high ground, they'll take it, right? Depending on who they are. Like if you give somebody a an, uh, a platform to look down on someone else, they'll do it. Mm-hmm. Like these people that are talking shit, like their husbands are in the working at the hospital. So like they can't fucking hang out with anyone. Yeah. For sure they can't hang out with anyone, but they're still walking with their girlfriends down the street. Mm-hmm. So if you're not, if you're, the only reason that you can talk, the only way that you can talk shit is if you're literally in your house by yourself, talking to no one, not getting Instacart, not getting food delivered. That's really the only way that you can say, hey, better not fucking, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because every time you go to the store, every time you, if you get gas in your car, every time a Postmates comes to your house, every time, like that is contact that you are having that could possibly get it. So it doesn't make you any better than the person that is like quarantining and playing with their neighbor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. I, I know my best friend from- And it's not your from, fucking place. From uh, college, she's a nurse. And all, she just threw out a PSA kind of yeah. to her followers. She, I know she's been working her ass off and I, kudos to her and all the healthcare workers out there who are literally, I mean, so important, so essential to anyone's survival on a daily basis, but including right now who are working around the clock. Like, yeah. thank you guys so much. Um, she basically threw out there like please if you can stay home 
make your trips to the grocery store like don't just do a bunch of small trips like we always do like oh shit i forgot this like make it a big yeah. thing you know yeah. and, which is what i try to do too she says wear protective gear if you have it yeah you know sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad just be cautious like i don't like touching handles i use my arms yeah you know some people like covering their faces some people want to wear masks some people don't wear gloves if you're going to do that though like make sure that you're doing it appropriately like i've seen people wear gloves and then touch their phone and then touch their face i'm like well, what's the point what's the point or there's a there was a picture of a dude <laughs> there's a picture of this dude going around it's, it turned into a meme this guy is standing in line at a uh supermarket right and he pulls down his mask off of his face and he has gloves on and he's eating chips out of a chip bag and they're like what the fuck is the purpose yeah of the mask and the gloves yeah if you're not wearing it and then you're using the gloves to like eat food when you still have them on right yeah so just be smart that's all you can ask and by the way cover your fucking mouths when you're coughing don't and anything else anywhere dude i was like Like, um just don't be any that's the that's the shit like don't get mad at last week don't get mad at somebody for playing with their next door neighbor get mad at someone that leaves their house goes to a store coughing i'm gonna tell you this right now person i was so annoyed by this it's just first of all i don't give a fuck if you have the virus or not it's just common courtesy even like a year back when the virus was the thing you cover your damn mouth somehow right it's so i was at target um i did my bulk run yeah. Right at Target. And uh, by the way, um, I love the Target that's near our house because they clean everything. And I mean, all the supermarkets and stores are doing a really good job of like putting stickers on the ground for like keeping the six yeah, yeah, foot yeah. distance. And Target, every time they use something, they're wiping it down. Right. For people. This chick is literally no joke. I think she had allergies or something, but she's coughing hysterically like out into the clothes without covering her mouth. And then she'll stop and then Why? she'll keep coughing without covering her mouth. And I was like, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I probably said it loud enough. For her to hear a little bit but i was like cover your damn mouth and her mom was like sitting there like and this chick was old enough like 16 17 years oh, old okay, to okay, realize okay. that she could have she wasn't like a child sure and her mom's just sitting there like I'm like this is the worst dude i don't care if you're sick or not just cover it just cover your mouth you know what i mean yeah i think so <laughs> but anyways <laughs> it's dividing people for sure like even this conversation and even like conversations oh, we people aren't gonna agree with us on some things yeah but um even like conversations i have with like you know friends i have in the neighborhood it's like everyone has a different level of it so there's some people that are like oh my gosh like you're the fucking problem then there's some people that are like "Eh, it's okay i mean we're all good then there's you know i mean there's different levels of like how you are making sure that you and your family and the people that you love or that other people are safe right yeah so either way i will say we're not fucking idiots also like there's that too this does need to be taken somewhat serious though you know what i mean like there's some people out there who are all willy-nilly like oh Oh, no 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 no, no. i'm just saying like you do need people do need to be safe still take it seriously like hey this is still a threat even if you if it doesn't affect you currently like still be smart and say about it for sure but i think it's like the same way that like you wouldn't want to get the flu right like where it's like flu season or whatever like common don't it's fucking yeah, common we're sense we're going a little bit farther than that which is good but like it really is just like stuff that you do all the time during flu season which is just like don't you know what i mean like if you're sick stay at home stay at home use like, precautions use the fucking antibacterial wipes fucking wash your hands after you go to the bathroom you know don't mouth, put dirt in. like all these things yeah. that we i guess got a very lax about do you know what i mean when when you ha- when when the governor How? has to tell you to cl- to wash your hands that means that people aren't doing wash, it yeah or when the governor has to say, like, use sanitizer, like, when you're leaving anywhere that has, like, a bunch of germs and shit. Like, that's just, like, how, and I think it will be, like, that That could be a good thing. Like, I think it will be like that from I hope this so. point on, right, where people will be more uh, diligent aware of, about like, germs and taking, self. like, yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. Like, what was Yeah, what was it? There was, like, when this all first started, there was a meme. I know. That, there was a meme that was, like, Hey, by the way, just fucking wash your hands all the time. Yeah. Like, why Not are just we... during this crisis, but you're always hey, supposed to be washing your hands. don't want to like, brag, but I've always been, been washing, washing my, my hands. hands. <laughs> like, even before the governor told me to, like, wow, that's so novel. Yeah. But... And then people start throwing out there, too. And by the way, just in case you didn't know, you're also supposed to wipe your ass. Yeah, yeah. After you go to the bathroom and, like, yeah. take a shit. <laughs> and, like, shower as much as you can. Yeah. I mean, not every day, but, you know, just normal shit that, yeah. like, now as a nation we need to make sure people are doing but anyway yeah. if it uh if it saves a grandma 
I'm down for it. Dude. And here's the thing too, check on check on older people too. If you have like older neighbors, like everyone in our subdivision is pretty young. But yeah. if they need stuff, go out for them. Yeah. Um, you know, just check on them to make sure they have supplies. I know there's a lot of people who go to their mom and dad's house if they live close and they're constantly like, you know, leaving supplies and then saying, Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Text and calling them. So I know they might need the most help. I will say this though, is I feel like if any of my grandparents were alive, they'd be thriving in this fucking quarantine. Because like they didn't have much back in the day. They always stayed inside. They learned to keep themselves busy with puzzles and solitaire and yeah. all sort of shit. Like my grandma, uh, my dad's mom was so used to like kind of being alone unless we all came to visit her. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So to me, I'm like, man, they would, she would fucking kill it. She'd be the ones who's sane out of all of us. I think, and I think like they're actually, you know, they're doing better than we think they are. Like they do. They are susceptible to all kinds of sickness yeah. all the time. I'm so saying immune system supplies and stuff like that, but yeah. Yeah, but like... I guarantee that they're like, oh, this is fine. Because guess what? They're, I think they're not as apt to using electronics as we are as much, right? Right. But if they are, like, they they're always have ways to keep themselves busy and their minds going yeah. because of back in the day, kind of. You know? Yeah. So good on them. Good on them. Just don't throw Check on your neighbors. Don't Check on your people. Don't throw fucking parties, dude. Like, don't have full-on, like, things... Just be fucking. I have some normal, friends dude. too who are um, pretty. They're very extroverted, and they're having a hard time with the lack of like human contact For and like sure. talking to people. And I've had friends that I reached out to saying like, "Hey, call me or Facetime." Basically, Facetime, right? Anytime you want. I'm kind of like a extrovert, but then I also really enjoy my introvertedness of staying inside and like doing my own thing and not having people bothering me. So as long as I yeah. get a good balance, but yeah, check on your extrovert friends or just anyone and make sure people are doing good. Yeah. It's I like am the an new ex- high, right? Like, yeah. Hey, how's it going? Now it's like, Hey, how you holding up? You doing good? Yeah, exactly. Like, how you doing? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm an extrovert, but I still don't want to do those dumb fucking zoom happy hours. How about oh, you? No. That sounds like a nightmare. I didn't know that was a thing until oh, and I everyone's like it. talking over each other and you're yeah. all just like sitting there trying to deal with the internet connection and drinking by yourself. And then a lot of times I hear like the Zoom stops, right? And then you're sitting there fucking wasted at your house by yourself. It's even worse. I can't even do like a three way, four way FaceTime no. with my sisters. Godspeed, you know what I mean? Unless we're all like really drunk and that only lasts about five minutes anyway. And then Godspeed. we all get off the phone. I have not. Like, yeah. You can't get a word in. Maybe I think I'm just, just breaking up. Maybe I'm just mad because I haven't been invited to one. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because like if I did get invited Actually, to one, I would for sure go. But since I haven't, then it's a nightmare. I would never do it. There's a lot of people out there now who are saying, man, all those things I got invited to that I, I put off, maybe I actually would have gone now. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> like, right. This thing of like, it'll do a couple of different things where it'll either make you even more mm-hmm. introverted, introverted or even more extroverted, extroverted. right? Yeah. I- I'm not sure, but time will tell. It sure will. Um, What else? What, I mean, what have you been watching and we'll kind of. Dude, well, obviously we already got into this Tiger King. Tiger like, King. Tiger King was. What can we say about Tiger King that hasn't already been said? I mean. The minute I saw the memes, I was like. I mean, just even starting, right? I was like, I obviously have to watch the show. And then obviously. I talked with you about it and binge watched it in that night. And has your husband watched it yet? I made him the oh, next and day. he did watch it. Okay. Well, because I told him about, feel? I told him about the show, right? And uh, it was that night I watched it. I think when he was like out drinking with the neighbors. Oh, okay, And perfect. so the next day, he was like, you watched the room without me? I was like, dude, you were busy. So now you're going to plant your ass here and you're going to watch it so we can talk about it. Oh, my God. So I was like, I want to show you this T-shirt I want to make. And he was like, OK. I was like, and you have to understand it. And you have to watch all eight episodes he was, in order to see the T-shirt. He w- he just was like, what the fuck is this shit? That's what that's really was. I, feel I, like you I was guys more excited have, than he, he was. Well, I think you guys would have had way more fun watching it together because you kind of need someone else to be like. He doesn't get hyped up about that shit. Oh, he would just be like, cool. He's like, this is this is idiotic. And he's not wrong. And I was like, I think this is great. Oh, it's great. I'm more it's, wrapped up in the hype, I think, with it, especially because of social media. To me, I just find this stuff funny and entertaining. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. whatever. Yeah. Where he's just kind of like, eh, it might have a few good memes and that's all that will come Got out. Got it. Got so, it. So we're just very different in that aspect. And you watch Ozark or you don't? No, we binge watch that too. Okay, you binge watch yeah, that. Yeah, so we watch How that all How good is night. that ending? Don't Ew. say anything, but dude, that last scene... First Woo! of all, the la- I didn't even think that was the end because Chris was like, that's the end. I'm I like, know. No, there's no, two more. No, no, and then it no. was. And I was like, oh my God. 
I went into a little bit more, I don't want to be too depressing on this show, but went into even more of a little bit of a depression once that show was over. Dude. Because you binge watched it in one night. Dang. Well, I spread no, no, it out. Oh, no. We did it too. Okay. So we did. We watched like some that one night and then we were like, dude, it's like 2, 3 a.m. So then the next day when we made lunch, I was like, you want to watch? And then we watched the rest of it. How nice. I know. Um, so still within 24 hours. Okay. This is, it's what we do. Well, I like, I split it up because I like put the kids to bed and then I only have a short window until I fucking mom passes out. Sure. Right? So I could watch maybe one or two, but it was awesome because you can kind of like have that looking forward to something. Yeah. Um, Not us. Now, We're terrible. I don't know what to look forward to. I mean. I'll probably watch this platform thing. Yeah, so I want to talk about that because this is a this fucking... is a movie, right? So it's so like this is a movie. It'll be a one night thing, but okay, I can so do it. So what Netflix is doing now, which is smart, is Netflix has like the top ten. They put these little top ten like ribbons on all these movies yeah, yeah, and yeah. shows, right? And so of course, Love Is Blind was on the top ten, and For sure, Tiger, Tiger King. King is, Ozark is, and so Platform was also, and it was also mentioned on TikTok by a ton of apparently like Netflix enthusiasts saying to watch it, right? And so Chris loves movies. I love TV shows. So he was really excited that I finally picked a fucking movie to watch. Okay. I was like, watch, watch, let's watch Platform. It's a foreign film, and I'm pretty sure they put American words over. Oh, so it's dubbed. It's kind of. It's not um, they do subtitled? Pretty, it's not subtitled, oh, okay. no, but they put American words over their weird looking, you know, mouse running. Sure. Um, and just the premise of it kind of really applies to what's going on in the world right now. Right. And I kind of was explaining it to our bank lady today too, but they have, what they show is they have like, I'm not even going to give it up to you, but they have so many floors in this building and it's a prison, right? It's so what it is, 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 um, it's this huge tower building and this guy goes in and he gets offered a bachelor, his bachelor's degree for going in this building for six months. Okay. Okay. But another person had to go in it for a year because he accidentally killed someone. Right? So, so you it's can, just you're doing time. So whatever you're basically that doing means. time. So yeah, you can yeah, go yeah. in as an experiment and get something out of it if okay. you're like willingly doing it. Or you can go, you go, it, you get put in there forcefully because you did something bad. Got right? it. Right? You can only bring one item in with you in this huge tower. So the top of this huge tower, they have like all the gourmet chefs in the world, I guess, producing this elaborate meal. And they put this on this platform and it starts from floor zero and it goes down to the bottom floor. And so as it goes down, it drop, it like it drops to one floor and it may, I might stay there for a few minutes. And it's your food for the day. It's a food. It's like a food it's platform. It's literally right? a food platform. Yeah, with yeah. Everything you can possibly imagine from like every glorious restaurant. Right. And they ask you before you go in what your like favorite food is. And so they make sure they have it on the, the platform. Okay. So, of course, as it goes down and down and down, the less and less food it is. And, of course, the top platforms hoarding. are like hoarding food and they so way ravenous. More than they and need. they literally are stepping on shit and grabbing everything they can. Now, the, the thing is, you can't hold food right on, in your cell. It's you and one other person in your cell as this platform comes down. Okay. Right? You can't hold food. If you hold food there, you either get frozen to death or uh, boiled to death. Okay. Mm -hmm. Crazy. I know. People are going nuts in this platform. They're killing themselves. They're throwing themselves down into the hole of the platform, right? Mm. And of course, as the platform gets lower and lower, people on the bottom floors like aren't getting any fucking food because everyone's being yeah. selfish as shit and eating all the food. Yeah. And anyway, what they come to find out is that essentially if they all try to take their own portions of food, right? Just what then they need Then everyone lives. Then everyone could live in this tower. So what happens is people get so used to starving on one floor. A month later, they get, they get knocked out by medicine and they get put on a new floor. You have no fucking clue what floor you're going to be on. Oh, so the higher shit. the floor, the more food you get. The lower the floor, the less food you get. So you might be coming from floor like 100 and something where you barely ate anything. You might be put on floor six. And then from a hundred from so, floor six, you're going to go down to 100. You could go down to whatever. And then they're all kind of learning. They're all numbered. And so they're the, learning that if you have. And so some people are thinking, oh, my God, if this is the only food I might get, then I need to just you know hoard it myself so people are but being you fucking can't selfish. hoard it in yourself i'm saying you hoard get, it in your belly oh eat it mm -hmm. eat it some people are eating this each other too because they don't have any food oh well yeah so what it happens is the moral of the story basically is if you take what you need everybody everyone can fucking live if you don't be selfish and so at the end when i watch this because it was crazy the whole thing's fucking crazy yeah 
I was like, oh my God, this is the whole crisis kind of right now, right? Yeah. Where you go to stores and you're like, dude, how do so many people need that much fucking toilet paper or that so much stupid. paper products or paper towels? Yeah. Like, do you really need 16 fucking things of it? No, you do not. You can take your two and you can leave the rest, the 14 for everyone else who needs them. It's yeah. the same thing. It's the same thing. And like the stores are still open. Like, I don't know why. I know. You can still go to the store. Unless Correct. you're full on quarantining, which, by the way, I know you're not. Um, do you know what I mean? Like, you yeah. can still pop into the store. I know. So I don't even understand, but this is perfect because, like, we are actually learning now, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, they're forcing us to, by the way, of, like, which I'm glad that they are. They're take forcing one. people to take what they fucking need. You can come back in a couple that should, weeks. Honestly, How that should happen. are you shitting? Earlier. I have seen, it did, but I don't think they understood what was going to happen. I've seen videos of people literally packing fucking moving trucks full from the dollar store of toilet paper. And part of me is like, there, there's no reason for that. That was before, I'm sure. That, where it's like people were trying to sell it and then they that got was a, That was a week before people got quarantined. Yeah. But still, that's exactly. fucked up. No, it's totally fucked up. So this movie is a really good glimpse into love it. this situation. It's love a little it. bit more intense. You know but, where I'm going to... Watch it tonight. Where? On my ghost bed. <laughs> oh my god! Where? I was gonna ask you, you about it too. You're like, where? I was like, oh, don't leave your house. I, know, I was just, no, I, 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 I didn't leaving. know if you had like made a theater or something. Oh man. Well, oh, I actually did get a uh, like an outdoor projector screen yeah. to like make like movies out on my porch when it gets nicer. I think it'll be cool Dude, next that's time. Smart. You, if you come and it's nice, we need to do yes. wine and like outdoor movie out there. That'd be fun. Um, Dude, that ghost bed would be perfect right now to plant my happy ass in and just so, watch. Do you movies? remember? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is comfortable <gasps> yeah. in these quarantines and COVID free. By the Dude. way, they make guarantees about yeah. that. Get rid of your COVID bed because it's got some. <laughs> it's got some kind of something in there. Probably bed bugs. <laughs> bed bugs or some kind of remnants or somebody you went to the store you touched something whatever. Yeah. Um, they extended the 25% off everything. Dude, they're so for, awesome oh, about that. I know. So I think it's going to be by the end of today when this uh, this episode airs. I'm sh- Go on and try and see. They're always going to have something. And by the way, if you're military first responder and you miss this deal, mm-hmm. they are doing 25% off for military first, resp- first responder instead of just 15% off. So everyone right now can get 25% off. But if you miss this... And your military first yeah. responder, go ahead and get that twenty five percent off. Get a bed, get pillows, get a bundle, and do thirty six month pay as you go. Mm-hmm. So it's not a big sum right now because we don't really know what's going to happen with people's finances, right? But I feel like in thirty six months we may have things figured out. Not sure. Check out their uh, Instagram or their social media page too, because I know recently they just were giving away a free bed. Really? Yes, they give they give They're away. They're fucking awesome. Like dude, they, they, they are. Always they do take something. They take care of their customers. Yes. They love you guys, especially. They had a post basically just saying, "Do you need a new bed?" and tell us why. And there was a ton of people, you know, even people tagging us in it, which is why I saw it. Oh, nice. Because they were saying, "Listen, I've been a long time listener of Drinking Bros and Broettes. Like, I love your guys' stuff. Like, we definitely Sweet. need a new bed because of this, this, and that." They were yeah. giving it away, dude. I think that's awesome. Yeah. Message them about Broettes. Yeah. Not Drinking Bros. But anyways, <laughs> it's Ghost Bed. Dot com forward slash drinking bros, but write them a message and tell them that you heard it on drinking bro ads just so they know that like the drinking bros suck and that we're awesome. But anyway, next up, strikeforceenergy.com. La- uh, promo code, what am I saying? You Lady Boner. This? Yeah. What words. is life? Lady Boner. You know how to spell that. If you don't know how to spell it, turn the show off right now. <laughs> um, have you taken any today? No, not I today. I feel like I should have. No, I know. Maybe should have taken a little. Maybe before you drive home. Me, correct. That I take like it as pre workout. You what? I take it as pre workout because it doesn't oh, make yeah. me super jittery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've been getting on my outdoor workouts lately, and I'm nice. loving it. Nice. So just yep. a little half pack. I'm yeah. still on. I do it even with you know anything else that we take. Like I just water it down. That's just my thing, right? Yeah. Just so you can like prolong it. You keep like a time release. Yeah. For you pill heads. <laughs> um, <laughs> Which is me. But anyway, um, strikeforceenergy.com, promo code Lady Boner, get 20 fun, 20% off anything in the store. Get it delivered to your house. Dropped off. No one's going to even talk to you. Nope. Won't even get any COVID. Nope. But you will have energy to sit in your house 
and that's Walk what you need. Your backyard. You need energy to get out of the bed. Yep. Um. Anyways, um, I'm gonna try and be more positive. I think you got this. I'm I trying to be more you. positive. Yeah, it's just one of like I said. I'm it's trying. Some listen, ways. it's one of those days. It's one of those days. Where Most it's of just, the days I look for the silver lining. There's some days it just. I mean, it's you just can't find it. You just sometimes it's, it's too foggy. Fucking life, man. Yeah, it really is. It's okay if you feel bad though. I agree. I know there's, everyone. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with it. Every celebrity, everything, everything you see on on social media or TV is like, we'll get through this. It's gonna be fine. This is better. We actually get more time with each other. It's okay to think that that's bullshit just for one day. And it's you okay to I mean? be annoyed by your spouses or be fucking sick of being stuck at home and just go or to- being worried about your job or being right. worried about your health or your family. It's it's normal. And you can do a Zoom call with a lawyer if you're thinking of divorce. You know, just like get the get the paperwork in order. Isn't that what I told do you? You have Zoom. I was like, I'm gonna get my Zoom? paperwork in order, order, just in case. Uh huh. This goes longer than six weeks. It's over. <laughs> See, Chris and I were doing amazing. Uh-huh. And I was like, I was like, oh, my God, this is great. And then he got bored. And I feel like when he got bored. <laughs> Forget he, it. He started to, like, just kind of pick fights out of nowhere when I was busy. Yeah. Right? And I was kind of like, what are you doing? And then the last few days, I was like, okay, I'm ready for this shit to be over. <laughs> ready for this shit to be over. Um, like after, are, it was after his birthday. It, a flip the switch I'm like really? was, it, was it like 35 now and we're also oh, in the dick oh now we're curmudgeon you know what I mean like <laughs> and I did everything I decorated the house I bought him gifts that's why I did at Target too you okay. know what I mean I made him his favorite cake and all that stuff and it was nice. such a great night and then the next day it was like a switch and I was just like whoa <sighs> shit who are you buddy that's how it happens I do that it's to fine. Ross all the time yeah but you know how we talked about this before too you know how sometimes when um, you're like oh my god we're like doing really Things good good and then the next day, kiss of death. Shit hits the fan. That's the kiss of death. I can't even think it now. No, it just no. don't think it. Don't ever shit. be like when you're in your marriage. Like don't ever be like you know what, things are good. I'm not even kidding. Like subconsciously, every single time, like dude, it's gonna be shit. Like oh my god, this is terrible. And as much as you try, right? Are you guys having corn sex? Yeah, you are. Plenty. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, but here's it's hard to well, get it up in the we're pandemic, good, dude. But I'm gonna tell you this right now. He's so funny. To me, I don't know why guys do this. Is like the last two days, I told you he was being a, just, I mean, a dick. Sure. Where I was just like, you need to, we need to separate rooms because you're not being nice to me. Yeah. Right? Like, I'm not okay with this. I'm quarantining in the guest room. And the only time he decided to be nice to me was when he wanted some. And I'm like, that's not how this shit works, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you just call me a bitch and now you want me to, like, yeah, fuck you? yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think so. Right. Right? So to me, I'm kind of like, you know, there has to be like a... Sure. Come together. But one kind of facilitates the other, which we've talked about, where like being a little bit of a dick, even when they're like starting to be a little bit on edge, if you just go ahead and have core and sex then, you kind it of was already head too off. Late. It was already too late. And Got we just you. had it the day before. Gotcha. Jeez. Bur- How much do you need? Twice on his, for his birthday. You know what I mean? Chris. Just- <laughs> wow. I know. 35, I guess his, his hormone levels just like <laughs> no. go through the roof. Well, I'm just saying is, you know, you can tell you're bored, but to me, like you can't, I mean, I know some people have like angry sex, but I'm the type of person. Where, oh no, like, emo- I can't. Where emotionally, I like being treated well emotionally. Yeah, because the whole and time me- I'm going like, to be like. I like, like feeling like, we're good mentally to be okay physically. Not all the time, but I'm like, you can't be an asshole to me no, for a few almost- days and then expect me just to be like oh yeah i just wanted to be super lovey-dovey well it's almost like a kid right where you're like i'm not gonna re- reward your bad behavior like if you want this you're gonna have to figure out how to get it and the way to get it he is to be fucking say. nice yeah. yeah you know I, you yeah. i guess you shouldn't use that phrase with your husband i don't use it gets that very phrase mom, but there has been yeah but there's but, been times before where i'm i'm just like sorry i'm sorry I'm for sure you know just be maybe like maybe if you just yeah you're so, making me soft, bro, and I'm trying to stay hard thing, out in these streets. It's like, it's quarantine, though. Like, you're always going to have one, right? Yeah. Where it's, there are some times where we'll have, like, a hurricane that's coming in and hitting us, about to hit us, yeah. right? Is this real hurricane or No, like metaphor? a real oh, fucking okay, hurricane. Okay. And I will be like, oh, la da 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 it's okay. And he's like, no, we need to fuck in. Oh, I know. Right? Dude. We talked about, did we talk about this? <laughs> no, I don't know about on air, but same, remember? Yeah. Oh. This fucking guy was like, just and freaking so out sometimes that starts arguments yeah, too when sure. i he's probably like what is her issue like why is she not super worried about this and part of me is probably like why is he so yeah uptight 
Yeah. There's that too. And I'm sure I'll have my bitchy days as well. You know, the period's coming in like a week. So I'm sure I'll be sure. A pleasant to deal with. And he'll probably be nice to me. So it ha- it's yeah, back yeah, and yeah. forth. But it's always great when it finally drives together. Yeah, but when it does... Be sure not to say we're doing great I because tell you, then it'll just get fucking I think this blown is how apart. relationships are. And we, me and you kind of talked about it. You have like a fucking bomb ass week. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. It seems like you have a bomb week. And then you have like the next week where it's kind of like one of you's off. Yep. And then the other week, the other one is you's off. You just can't be on the same page. And then the, ne- the la- fourth week, you both are fucking not good. Yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. fucking explosion. And then boom, you go back to that good week. Yeah. And then you repeat this cycle. Does it kind of seem like that sometimes? It does seem like that, but I never little. know. I never know if it's just because that's how my weeks as a woman go, where it's like, well, that's, I'm, yeah. I have a great week right after my period, right? A little bit after where I'm like, I'm good. I'm feeling good. Da, da, da. It's all past. And then you kind of like settle into that. And then you have your premenstrual week and then you have your menstrual week. Know. So like, I never know if that's like our relationship ebb and flow or if it's my fucking hormone ebb and flow of like, I'm good and now I'm bad and now I'm good. And it's like, maybe they have hormone shit too, but like, it's just blending two people together in that way, right? To where you're like, God. Listen, anyone that you live with, I don't care who it is, whether it's a spouse, whether it's a roommate, whether it's family, you're not always going to get along. Think about Some people are like, oh my God, it should be like great 24 7. No. Think about how you were even with your family. You love them, they're your fucking blood. But guess what? Do you know how many times my sister and I fought? You know, oh, or my parents. Just been like, get away from me. Anyone? Yeah. Yes. This yeah. is very normal. And yeah. the fact that now we don't have an outlet really to go anywhere, just drive to a restaurant or like. I think that's it. That's more it for me is like a outlet. We're like, I don't mind staying home with my family. I don't mind even not really hanging out with. But feeling like you're kind of stuck or stuck caged there. We're like, little. even if I take my kids to the store, that was like yeah. a thing that I did after work. And we all kind of, you know, well, hung you know, out honestly, the store, pick shut out, whatever, whatever. I don't know if it was you or my girlfriends I was talking to, but sometimes we just go for a drive. For sure. Just to get out of the house. Definitely. And just clear your mind, put on some music, not have anyone talk or think like. Is it weird now, though, that you're actually trapped in the car where you're like, it seems, yeah, like, so you are going for a drive, but like, you can't really get out and do anything. Whereas before you go on the drive, you're like, maybe I'll stop somewhere. Maybe it's almost like anything in life. The minute that you're given. Yes. We don't think about the limitations, but the minute that you are given limitations is it's. It's like we take for granted kind of like, oh, my God, now I really want it. Yeah, exactly. That's why I think sometimes with guys or even with girls, there's the thrill of the chase. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where like you want something that you can't have. And that's why guys and girls chase, chase, chase. Yeah. It's the same thing with this. Yeah. Right. Where we want the freedom and to go wherever the fuck we want right now because we don't have it. Right. As much. Right. Yeah. 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 It's so true. Like <laughs> we're what so I'm, fucked up. <laughs> so fucked up. Like would I stay home all week? Probably. But I'm pissed that I have to. Right? People yeah. are making jokes about that. It's like, more for my kids. To be honest yeah. with you, it's more for my kids. Like you say you're like. You know, I sometimes I talk to you and you're like, oh, I'm good. I'm just getting work done. I'm going to work out in my gym. Then me and Chris are going to make dinner. Yeah. It's like, I'm like, that. yeah, I could handle that, right? But it's when your kids are like mm-hmm. having to deal with this shit, it just adds That's a whole hard. another layer. We're like, yeah, you know, I hear people talking about it where they're like, it's not that bad. It's like, no, for us, it's not that bad. We're not fucking children. But mm-hmm. for children, it's fucking bad. I can only imagine. And if you have them in the house, so... You know who I will say who's really fucking enjoying this quarantine? Our dogs. <laughs> Are oh, you kidding? Oh, God, yeah, they're getting all the love. All the love, all the throws. They're outside working out with us all the time. They get fucking walks, like, all oh, the time because yeah. we're not super busy. Dude, they are loving it. They crave attention a lot. Like, our dogs love attention. Yeah. When, I, when I'm not giving it to them 24-7 now because they're so used to it. Oh, now they're God, pissed. It's hilarious. Like, trigger my dog. Like, when I go to the... I try to have pickup um, for all my packages every day for the post office, but there's some days that they forget or I have too many. I just go to the post office. Boom. The minute he knows I'm going out the door, he jets with me, hops in the car. Like he's loving it. He never did that before. He never cared. Now he wants to be by my side 24 seven. I saw a meme of like this guy, like this dog that's like on top of the fridge being like, dude, I don't want to go on another walk. We've (laughs) gone on fucking 10 walks today, right? Like everyone's walking their dog all of a sudden where they're like, we haven't walked in fucking months. What are you talking about? You just out walked me. Now you want to walk me fucking 20 times a day? Like just leave, bro. (laughs) Give me a second. I guarantee there's some dogs sitting in their heads going, get the fuck out of the house. Get the fuck away from me, dude. I'm sick of you, human. Stop (laughs) petting me, dude. 
I will say this though, it sucks because I know there's some military bases. So my military base is just completely shut down. Yeah. Like reserve, active duty, everything. Because they had like a couple cases of the coronavirus, so they shut everything down. And they're like, it's not essential. Which is funny because a lot of military people are like, we're totally essential. Most aren't working, including my special forces husband. He's going in here and there, but yeah. They're only going to do uh, deployment prep. Exactly. Right? And, and like so, he's, yeah. It's just funny. Um, but uh, I know a lot of people are going hiking and I love hiking myself. And so there's another steer buddy who I work with and he even posted the other day that his air force base, um, what they do, they put a restriction on them even going out hiking now. Oh shit. And I am like, yeah. So here's, here's the worst part. So you have like the like, government what? that has restrictions. Then you have like the state that has restrictions. Then yeah, you have like yeah, your yeah. County that has restrictions. Yeah. And then even for people in the military, then you have the military that has restrictions. So they can even restrict you even further. And I guess this guy didn't like, like I'm on a 300 mile order. I can't go outside 300 miles. Really? That's my base. Chris can't go outside 50 miles. Crazy. Mm -hmm, Cause of his base. Army's a little bit more strict. Than wow. Air Force. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? So they can put on more limitations than us. Now, a lot of people try to think, you know, think to themselves, well, how are they going to catch you? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm sure some people don't bro. get caught, but if you get caught, you're going to get fucked up. Yeah. You know, you might get. And why a, is that though? Like, why do they want you to stay within? Uh, because just in case shit goes down or what? Just because you're off work. Doesn't I mean, mean, they're still active duty, so they're still getting paid. So that's the thing too. Like for me. Oh, like don't just fucking travel across. Yeah. They just want, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, cool. You're off, but you yeah. can't just be traveling. Yeah, like that's yeah. the point of you. I supposed to be you. staying home, like state, I house. guess. Yeah, and yeah. there's, I guess, precautionary reasons. Like, who knows sometimes what's the purpose behind some of the things that they do. It's true. You know what I mean? It's better so. you saying it than me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I'm in the military. Yeah, I can exactly. say it, but that's what I mean. You can say Don't it. Don't get me wrong. There's some things that the military does that's like, that makes completely sen complete sense. And then anyone who's been in the military knows there's other things that you're like, this makes no fucking sense. But whatever, you got to do it. Because that's yeah. just... The machine that we're in. You yeah. Know? You can say it. You're so. Puerto Rican. You know what I mean? I can't <laughs> yeah. say it. Don't mess with me, homie. I can't say it. <laughs> because I'm not. My mom uh. <laughs> lied to me about it, but I'm not. So we have, we're going to get in. So guys, just to forewarn you. Okay. We're yeah. going to, we have Sorry, the ladies, guy the broette ladies um, coming in and asking us, hey, how do you guys take care of these things? These certain beauty hacks and things when we're in quarantine. And guess what? Jesse and I. Have been on the front lines for you guys. Me have been a, <laughs> yeah, a yeah. dummy. You definitely have tried with certain more things. things. And uh, guess what? We're going to report them to you now. We did some insider research. Yeah, we've again we've been on the front lines. Um, what would you? We've already talked about your wand that well, you don't the first, recommend. The thing I'd like to start off with is one that the broettes have been asking a ton about is tanning. Yes. So here's the thing. So I stopped tanning beds a really long time ago, which, by the way, like, just be careful if you guys are still trying to do tanning beds. I guess it's like a new thing now on TikTok to take videos of yourself inside of a tanning bed. And I'm like, people Why? still like tan in beds. Like, I didn't know that was a thing still. Just be careful because I'm telling you skin cancer. Yeah. And like, I'm telling you, it's going to save you on Botox and stuff in the future. Right. Yeah. So anyway, just be just be cautious. But fake tanning is kind of the way to go. And there's so many more new, new, better products coming out there. So I know you have a favorite. Um, I like Saint Tropez. I yeah. haven't used a lot of um, because even though I am fake Mexican, for some reason I tan like a Mexican. Good That's for you. why I, I have fucking thought I was forever. Too. Yeah. So when I go out for even like a couple hours, like I will get really, really good. You do color. have an olive base to your skin. A yeah. Bit. yeah. So I don't usually use it, but I did try the San Tropez with the um, little glove or whatever, yep, and it was really good. I used it on my legs, and like I would say, shower and like exfoliate put it on and sleep in it and yes. then the next day it looks fucking rad so, so that's what i, I do with know. mine so yeah, saint tropez yeah. is the best one that you can get in stores whether At it's sephora, sephora yeah. alta they have it all that's mm -hmm. the best one to get here i would say in the states yeah yeah L you guys listen they have instructions on the back for a reason i know we are all beyond instructions but i'm telling you with fake tan it's gonna save you a world of hurt Follow the instructions. Follow the instructions. Exfoliate. And, and then there's little You're supposed little to put tips. some lotion like on your elbows maybe, right? Some people put it on their hands a little yeah, yeah, bit yeah. and on their kneecaps. Anywhere um, that you don't want it to like, you know those things. Where those, it gets really dry. Yeah. Like, yeah. You don't want to look like you have like elephant. I don't know if one of my elbows, this one might be it, like elephant skin where it gets super dry or really dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like you know wrists, I mean? elbows, yeah. and then like on your hands so just so you can wipe it off really good. Yeah. So I sleep in mine too. 
Yeah. The one that I really like a lot is Bondi Sands, and it's an Australian brand, and Australians have been dealing with tanning and stuff for a long time. Like, yeah. every Australian girl that I've ever seen in my life is, like, gorgeous and tan. And tan, but, right? like, the perfect, no orange, no Correct. nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very natural. So I started buying it um, from this Australian company, and they have, like, the uh, U.S., website of course it's going to take a little bit longer to get in but i've been using this for the longest time i use their dark dark formula now it's the same thing exfoliate yeah. all that i have to sleep in a robe with it like i sleep in a robe with it because yeah. i don't like number one the smell of any of these yeah personally i yeah. don't and number Saint-Tropez two is not bad do you hate it uh it's not, it's not bad I, yeah. I just never like the scent of any yeah, of them. Yeah, I know. Does Saint Tropez stain your sheets a little bit or get color on them? Not stain Tiny, them, but I mean a tiny bit. So that's how Bonzi is the too. The first night, but yeah. So the first night it does because I'm sleeping yeah. in it. Um, but the next morning, I'm telling you, every single time I've done any type of like photo thing or just wanted to look tanny, I think even before we went to Vegas, I did it. Loved it. Oh yeah. That looked good. Yeah, that looked good. Just make sure that you do your wrists and hands. And, and so the one that it. you used on your face, which is actually really good, is that right? No. So I don't ever use any of those on my face because that's a lot. Yeah. Like some people, some girls I see will do it with a brush, like a blending brush, yeah, yeah. and they'll put it on their face. And some girls I've seen actually just do the contour. No joke. They contour their face with tan. With tan. And it looks really dark when they sleep in it. But as in the morning when they wash it off, it looks like they just have a natural contour to their face. Shit. Shut up. Now, make sure, though, that if you screw that up, you have some type of, you know, tanning eraser. But the yeah. one that I tried, because I was reading a ton of reviews on it on Sephora, was Isle of Paradise. And so Isle of Paradise is like, they have a pink, green, and purple bottles, and it's like light, medium, dark. And all you do is you put like one to 12 drops in your, like, just body lotion, your face lotion, whatever it is. The more drops you obviously put in, the, the more tan you're going to get. Yeah. I decided just to do that one on my face because I've been seeing more and more people do that on the face. Mm-hmm. And it was also with just my my face lotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like that because before, my face would get really dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? From yeah, putting yeah, it yeah. on. Yeah. Um, make sure you... <laughs> Make sure you blend it into your hairline. Hairline, you were on a... I had my hair like pro this. Pro tip. And of course, I have like this these marks. I obviously didn't do it all the way into my hairline. So make sure you do it into your hairline. Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard to figure out how many drops you really put in because there's a few times i squeezed the little yeah. droplet thing and a lot came out and i was like well there we fucking go yeah i will say though as lackadaisical as i put it on it turned out really well still it's kind of foolproof nice and does it look like i'm orangey no like, no it was really good and your face was really good too so i think so, i'm gonna try that one i like the drops in the in whatever face me too. lotion you like and you can anyways use your normal body lotion yeah 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 uh, like that's it has probably the a best very way. slight smell it doesn't stain anything. So you can literally put it on and it just develops over time, which was great. I mean, of course, I put it on before I went to sleep still. Yeah. But I was like, this worked out really well. Nice. They have erasers too. They have multiple erasers. So they have eraser spray. Where it just like takes it off? Yep. So you eraser spray. So if you want to get rid of it. Yeah. You put it on and you let it soak in and then you rinse it off and there goes your tan. No joke. They have an eraser buff thing, Ooh, right? That's a Where good if one. you mess up a certain spot, yeah, yeah, you just yeah. take a little bit off and then clean it up. So that's one thing I like about them too. Cause yeah. I was like, man, they have multiple things to like help it out and they have yeah. drops and I think they also have a spray. So nice. I know you can't go wrong with that. So I'm into it. I'll say this. Uh, Sephora I know has free shipping right now with literally free ship F R E E. I think it's S H I P. I think that's the one they have free shipping. Um, but a lot of people are pissed at Sephora right now. Why? Did you hear about that? They laid yeah. off apparently a ton of people. Well, a ton of their workers in stores. But what were they supposed to do? I guess Alta, well, Alta kept theirs on because eventually they're going to open back up in stores again. Yeah, but if you, if you lay people off, they can get unemployment. Apparently right now with COVID, if you're not working and you have like a letter from like your company stating that you are not working and not and taking a paycheck, but you know, because of the whole COVID thing, because mm-hmm. they're shut down, even though you're not laid off, you can still claim unemployment because that's a new COVID thing, the law. Yeah, so... Oh. They, they don't have to be laid off. They still have oh, their job. okay, okay. The minute they get their job back, the it. minute they stop unemployment, right? Got it. But you can technically still claim unemployment while, you know what I mean, still be, like, at least keeping your job by the time the quarantine... I, I guess it pissed off a lot of people, I guess. A lot of well, girls. So, I don't know. If that's your thing, I don't know. Yeah. I don't really know what their logistics are. I know there was some places that it's like you want to be laid off so you can get unemployment especially for like a retail i job, heard that too so i'll just say really this know. it seems like a lot of people right now are figuring out 
Um, someone made a joke, but they were kind of serious about it in the future that they're if they ever are looking for another job and their employer is like, hey, you have any other questions for us before you know we hire you on? Like, yeah. What did you guys do during the COVID crisis in 2020 with your employees? Like, how, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, did you keep them on? Did you fire them all? Did you, how did you treat them? Yeah. Because I think that's really important to a lot of people, especially right. when they pour time and effort into working for a company and their company's kind of like, fuck you, bye. Right. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, the next one. Pedicures. <laughs> Why don't you talk about what you did for the people? Okay, so I get pedicures sometimes, but it's mainly just to get the paint, right? The Before pile. we talk about this, we should get into this story about your um, nasty feet is brought to you by ExpressVPN, okay? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. ExpressVPN is an interesting thing. We're not super techie people, right? No. But at the same time, you're actually better about this than I am as far as like keeping your stuff secure on the internet and on your phone like you're always like oh, yeah. what you let them fucking follow you oh what you let them like do you know what i mean even like, when i was any- giving you information i was like or when ross was asking for my social i was like i'll call you yeah for sure like <laughs> yeah. and i'm just like oh just text it to me you're like yeah eh, how about i call you and tell you or just anytime i'm using an app there you're like they let you you let them use your location sir all this shit oh, where i'm yeah. just like whatever dude um but ExpressVPN is something that I actually probably need because I'm so lax about it, right? It'll help you out without you even it's knowing it. It's just basically, it's something that you download onto whatever device you want it on, right? Yep. And it basically protects... From hacking? Your IP. It protects your everything security, that you're searching. Yep. Just security in general. It's hard to explain. I mean, you know more about that kind of stuff than... I do. Yeah, but. so a lot of times, so you know how like all the websites nowadays are going, hey, do you accept these cookies? People are tracking, they get your information, they know where okay. you're, you're at, they know what you're looking up so, so that they can like, tailor ads to you. from getting, like when you're in the room with your husband and you look something up and he's mm-hmm. like, did you just fucking look this up? Yep. Okay, so it will kind of stop that, right? Yep. And we all know that about ExpressVPN. I mean, we know from like the Drinking Bros and they've supported this, our kind of whole network for a while, but... If you go to expressvpn.com slash broettes, you are going to get three months free of ExpressVPN, which is fucking huge, Mm -hmm. right? And just see how those kind of things drop off as far as like people just taking all your information, getting spam calls, getting weird emails from things like that you didn't sign up for. Um, Expressvpn.com slash broettes, three months free. This other thing that they kind of have on here, which is interesting, is that you, since we're now stuck at home, and if you ever want to unlock a show from somewhere else, UK, Japan, anywhere else, Canadian Netflix, I'm hearing a lot about Canadian Netflix, I don't know how to get it, Really? here we go, Yeah. yeah, somebody was saying something about shows on Canadian Netflix, and I'm like, well, what? So I could somehow... I could you with ExpressVPN. Yep, you can unlock all these other because countries' it hides your IP streaming service. Yeah, it allows you inside their networks. So, so it's, n- it's nothing that I thought about when I first no. got ExpressVPN. I didn't think about doing this, but this is kind of huge. So yeah. look into them, guys. Go to expressvpncom slash broets. Try it out for three months. See if it kind of puts your shit back into a yeah more private situation and not everybody getting everything that you look at all the time i hate that it's good for porn anyway <laughs> so your gross ass Boom. feet oh my god dude i'm picking out are you right gonna, are you about to show dude are you about to show I, the people yeah i'm picking out oh, dude no. there's so much of my dead skin on this fucking ground okay so first of all pedicures is like mainly why i get them is because of the toenail polish right just yeah. to make my toes look pretty by the way i have super ugly feet because they're military feet okay like sure. they've been ran into the ground but girls were talking about the whole like exfoliation process just kind of like I don't, a pet egg like a scrub, i don't get uh, purposely the exfoliation process because i like my calluses and i like my feet being rough but i tried mm, you tried it for the people because i tried it for the people seems like a nightmare to me so this, anyway. there's this foot exfoliant that you can get it's called exfoliant foot peel mask by uh bay Luz, and it's on amazon basically just look none of up. these are sponsoring us by the no, way no no i'm We're just literally telling, just trying out stuff yeah trying too. out the stuff yeah so anyway you put it on if you like 
So when I was younger, my mom would get home. My mom got back from a um, tropical vacation and she got super burnt and her skin was starting to peel. You know what I mean? And I mm-hmm. loved peeling her back. Me and my sister did. So if you love popping pimples or peeling skin, you're going to love this. <sighs> it's so gross. I don't. I don't. Can you guys see? Oh my gosh, you guys. So it's like, so it's literally taking off the bottom skin of my foot. How long did this process take? So this is still, oh my God. <gasps> A whole chunk of skin. It's coming up. You guys, I'm gonna puke. Like, but you go ahead and watch. Skin. You go ahead and my watch. Feet have, but I'm gonna puke. My feet have never looked uglier before, but it is taking off like a little layer, not a thick, but like a little layer of skin, like that dead skin where underneath it it's soft. And it's not like you know. So um, this is good for people that like to This is good for suck on toes, lick feet. Other than that, why the fuck would you want it? Sorry. No, no, people love having soft feet. It's right. thing. I don't know why, but I mean, I could see like if you're, you like your husband, like giving you foot massages, which I don't, or like, oh, I love that, but I don't give a fuck or, if they're rough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they've always I been. I don't know any So other. anyway, there's a lot of girls who like having soft, supple feet. They don't like all the calluses. They don't like all the marks. Sure. Oh my God, there's so much. Do you see that? Nope. <laughs> Dude, there's so much skin on the ground right now. But yeah, anyway, uh, so that works. Cool. If you really want, if you guys really want, but like, soft, when is feet. that? When is that peeling gonna stop? Uh, it, it starts at three to seven days, and you're supposed to like soak your feet every day to help it. That sounds like a lot. Yeah. So I got another one if you want it, because I'm not gonna use it again. I'm good. <laughs> um, but but that's like yeah, the point of the we pedicure. Send it to a you know how they use like the pumice stone and they they get rid yeah, of, yeah, of yeah. all of it. I like that kind of like smoothing it out a little bit, but no. I don't like taking everything off. Dude, I'm telling you, I've had a fucking pedicure lady sit there at my feet for the longest no, time. I don't like that. And like scrape off skin. And I was like, mm. no, please stop. But a lot of people do. It's yeah. like their no, thing. That's true. So, so if, you, if you guys are looking for that, that's your thing. Now with nails, you're more of a nail person because I'm not. Actually, I don't get any of this stuff done. So I, I, had, um, I had acrylic. So there's a lot of people out there that had gotten their nails done, whether it's gel, acrylic, like I overlays, anything yeah. before this quarantine. <laughs> and uh, if you don't have a bootleg Asian place that's going to open the doors for you, which I know they have to be out there somewhere. You know there I just is. don't know where they are. They have special places. Just a yeah. little like, you know open the door let you in for just one um manicure but anyways as crazy as this sounds and i've been doing it forever when i didn't have money to like go every two weeks to get your which i still don't really have money or time to do it every two weeks getting the fills and shit that shit yeah i could never keep up with it i would do it once and then it would just like grow out and i'd just pick them off right so i ended up taking off the acrylic nail overlay that i had and there's a couple different brands, but this Kiss, it's a I like Kiss, Kiss brand. They do uh, lashes too, but yeah. Kiss has these like, sh- you could get, I get short, but it's basically just glue on nails. And I know that sounds crazy, but if you get them short enough, they will not flip off in the soup. The ones you-, you have, I don't know if you can put them up. They're super cute. You have like this really pretty so light like, gray color and yeah. you have a marble that's like white and light gray marble yeah and the gray is matte which i love a matte I know. nail they look um, really good on you thank you so these are la colors but this is all walmart walmart or rite aid yeah so it's super like, easy to get you know you can get everything online guys yeah and these actually fit so you i don't know they're easy totally easy to do and i have never gotten more compliments on a two dollar situation in my life and i've done it forever we're yeah. like you know who else does it is noelle best so, really yeah she one time i was just like oh my god your nails look good like you don't even understand why you're like man they're like thin yeah and nice and, and it looks look- sort of natural and she's like yeah fucking right aid girl i'm like right aid girl um actually the only time i did ones like those or even gotten like nails done was when i got married and you did them like this or you yeah. did like at a i did i got it. i went to and the I'm walgreens sure they were, i'm in, sure they were amazing Vegas. And they were super cute. I know it sounds weird. It's like, Leon, you know, press on nails. They're not press on. You actually glue them. And it's, you know, you have to get kind of used to it. But it's really easy and they look really great. And again, if you get them short enough, they won't flip off and pop into your food or whatever you're scared of that happening. (laughs) And when they come off. Well, if you get them long, I mean, if you get them long enough, they don't have that much base as far as like you put glue on them, okay. but they're not insanely strong. Like they're not supposed to stay on 
for like four weeks. You okay, know what yeah. I mean? Like the most you I've could really get like a week or two out of them and then you just pop them off and put on a new one or leave it. Because um, the most I've ever really gotten is like I get gel nail polish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that you can peel off pretty easily oh, when before. you want to. Yeah. And that's the problem. It's Yeah. Cause I they know peel. people that like can't keep them for that long because they just want oh no i keep them as long as i can because i love it but the peeling the minute i start with one there they all go even if they're not ready i know but it's so great isn't it when you get that like yeah then my yeah it's great in the moment until it takes off my entire yeah i mean look let me just say this too like none of this stuff is ever going to be good for your nail so like oh yeah unless you're doing just like i don't even think the stuff i put my feet is good for my exactly so like if you're like oh but those are bad for your nails like everything is bad for everything as far as like beauty and real beauty like hair color the ones without the oh ca- god the ones do- without the chemicals don't fucking work so no. it's gonna be bad for you um well, self tanner i, was gonna I don't talk know about. what the fuck is in self tanner it's neither, not great but- for you but at least it's not giving you sun cancer i don't know what else it is but you know these people are like oh but the natural when it comes to lotions, things like this, try and get as natural as you can. But if you really want your nails to look good, your hair to look good, Listen, your lashes to look good, it's going to be chemicals and it's going to be shit that's not good for you. Renee Rolo said the same thing. She's like, "There's natural doesn't work. So she tries it to make it work. as healthy as she can. Yeah, but it's, it's not going to all be avocado oil and no. honey. Like it's going to actually be other stuff too, right? Yeah. Well, speaking of hair, oh my God. I know some people are going crazy in this quarantine with their hair. So let's just put out a piece. PSA. My hair looks terrible right now. Let's just did put on you, a PSA. Did you color? My before my hair stylist. Oh really? Goodbye. Yeah. Oh okay. She just did my roots a little bit darker. So I really not, like hair. They're not a sponsor. Maybe they will come on for one. But Who? um Madison Reed is oh. a it's probably like the best uh hair care you get it online though it's not don't don't go and get box color ever ever no ever, no no ever, don't ever. get box color that's yeah even in a pinch it will ruin everything that you have going on but if you absolutely have to uh madison reed is a company online that will actually formulate whatever color you want in a real way and you kind of do have to mix it almost like a salon but it shows you exactly how to do it so it will it's and it's basically just for roots i mean don't try and do your whole fucking shit but just to get you through that's a good one and then i've seen a lot of salons that actually if you contact them they are will sending it out yeah so they will formulate their color that they've always used on you they'll leave it somewhere with instructions that's and super that'll kind of get you through it's really hard you're gonna definitely go back to the salon but yeah if you can if you need to do it if you're just like can't see your grays anymore whatever it is those are two things that i would look into don't do box before color, you though. ever ever please don't do box so color there was please. a, a bro who did box color and she it was trying to do her roots and she was like i know i shouldn't do it but i'm gonna try it because maybe it's not as bad as i thought and she said it dried out her hair it ruined her hair like just don't it's not worth it so I also used- people you know like when there's times that are changing and we want to change and we're sometimes we're bored like girls like to do a lot of stuff Oof. with their hair there's been a trend of people shaving their head stop and bangs. bangs do not shave your head and if you are thinking about getting bangs there are so many like tips and tricks like what people have been doing is they've been doing stuff like this right and pinning their hair back and then like putting it up here for like bangs and then putting it up and like putting you should have a curly bang like that <laughs> oh yeah because this looks <laughs> this doesn't look homeless see but now that would all. go with the curliness see if you had a little bit of a curly bang that might have really but you just pin it back tied it all right? together and then Got you put you. like a sure like a bandana or something over or you put your hair up sure i actually did cut bangs once I think everybody has at some point, right? And uh, and I bet it was awesome. No. So I used to be a hairstylist, so I can like kind of do it mm-hmm. because I know what angles and how to do it. But oh, yeah. I'm still not going well, to only because I know upkeep on bangs after the first week, you will hate them. Yeah. You will hate them unless you love doing your hair like that every single day. And that's great. Godspeed. Um, the thing with the box color, I just have to say is when your hair when your hairstylist formulates your color they use a certain volume of developer whatever that means to you um so it could be like 10 20 30 if you want to like 
really get like a blonde blonde that's like drying your oh, frying your hair is the oh, 30 volume no idea so what they have to do in box color though because they claim it will make everybody's hair one color they have to go the highest volume that they possibly can what which volume? means they're just zapping the fuck out of your hair and if you have normal hair that doesn't need like 30 volume you're still gonna get 30 volume because it still has to work with the lady that has super coarse gray hair Damn. so it's even if you think it's going to be good, it's not going to be good. Yeah, um, don't do it. Just don't do it. That's just um, like the biggest thing I can there's say. There's plenty of places and like online and whatever you can get hair mask and stuff, right? To yeah. like, if you want to help you refresh wanna, like, your hair during sure. this. I know there's uh, some people, and I've even used this before, if you want to do it the natural way where they put like coconut oil kind of on the roots, like they put a lot of coconut oil on the roots. Try it. You're not going oil. out of the house. No, Try castor it. oil on the roots. You let it soak for three hours, right? And then you wash it and it helps keep your scalp nourished and healthy yeah and you know put on some mayonnaise i mean do all this <laughs> stuff right you're not apparently i heard an egg is it egg on your face or egg on your hair that's egg good. on your hair but it is mayonnaise i'm not joking in is your it hair. for your hair because mayonnaise is egg and oil but right so it's like gonna have oh, all I would, those nutrients yeah. and like oh look i much but rather wants do, to do that because you don't want your bed or anything to like smell like I fucking would, mayonnaise listen if you're watching a show right you can just literally soak in your hair but i much rather like castor and coconut oil and like mayonnaise normal oils but yeah look but that stuff works too that works that too helps. um i tried the magnetic lashes i know oh, you yeah. did too i'm not a fan i'm just they're gonna okay leave, i'm just gonna leave that there I, they were really easy to put on they're really easy to put on so but easy to put liner on. in the world of putting now you use different brands though I use different brands. I use the Ardell, and then I have the Moxie. See, people were telling me the Moxie was good. Was good. But that liner that just feels like I shouldn't be putting magnetic liner on my eyes, right? So that was the weird thing is I looked up the liner, like yeah. what was inside the liner, in the liner. And all of this is still contained that's in natural makeup. Like not natural makeup, but okay. in all the other makeup. So but right. even Chris was like, you better be careful. Because I got it in my eye the first time I used it. Because I use the right. brand Eyler. Oh, okay. Eyelore. Or something. But you have to be able to if you're going to put it by your eye. It, you know what I mean? Some people just don't like putting on eyeliner, which is, I don't get, oh. I don't blame them. You know, like sure. some people don't like the eyeliner, which you have to put it on with the magnetic lashes. Sure. I will say this the eyeliner gets very cracky and stiff towards the end of the day because obviously it's not going to stay kind of liquidy and soft. It has, uh, you know, magnetic, you know, not magnetic, it has magnets attached to it. Yeah. So I don't know. It's a little bit weird. Well, speaking of eyes, I think we should probably do a quick felix gray dude i can use i need them right now on my life staring dude, at this computer screen exactly um, you know what i mean yeah <laughs> like really bad yeah okay okay um, okay just know that it's not you guys and dying you guys yes okay us, is are you leaving thanks no okay Okay. Okay, got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, eyes. Anyway, so <laughs> sorry, Felix Gray, for the drama. <laughs> Go. This is what I'm talking about, you guys. Go I'm getting on. the papers drawn up today. <laughs> now listen, <laughs> I'm joking, kind of joking, kind of. Um, hi. Is it yes, we're fucking yeah, recording. Yes, yeah, and, can, and like, now you're fucking, now, at this now point, you're interrupting us. Yeah, no. Like, no. No, no. Obviously, we're going to get. He wanted to be super drama and tell us about the car crash that happened. Um, oh, wow. That's what I thought. I needed to get the real deal from Dan. This is cute. That is cute, right? Are you leaving? Yes. Oh. Puerto Rican? I know. I look like the she girl does, from she? Saved by the Bell. Oh, yeah. Lisa. Mm, she's black again <laughs> i look <laughs> all of our all of our um partners i don't know how mm -hmm. we say are popping in and yeah thanks guys having fun because our show doesn't fucking matter no, our show apparently doesn't matter you can just interrupt it whenever just fuck kidding, we want. can you imagine if we interrupted theirs oh my god they would kill dude us sorry we just want to let you guys know there's a car crash, crash. you'd be like shut the fuck up if i fucking care i'll care. you know whatever but anyways we Felix love them Gray. and Felix Gray. Now, Felix, listen. I know. Uh, first of all, you're going to go to Felix Gray Glasses mm -hmm. dot com 
slash broettes to get free shipping on your blue light blocking glasses. I love these glasses. They're actually so cute, though. Well Very made. Um, and we talked about on the last show, but this circadian rhythm thing mm-hmm. that is, I don't know how new it is in the research of blue light blocking, but like this made so much sense to me when I read it of if you are on your phone right before you go to bed or a yeah. computer screen or whatever, once you close your eyes or you try and rest, you are like buzzing a little bit, yeah. right? Like your eyes aren't really closing. You don't feel like you're really relaxed. Apparently, if you wear these, and it is working a little bit for me. So if I wear them when I'm looking at my phone or doing anything like this before bed, it helps me to, it, it helps to keep that buzzing away. Do you know what I mean? Like I still yep. don't want to do it right before bed, right? But if you have to or a little bit before, it it helps with the circadian rhythm so that you're able to relax when you need to relax. Because a lot of us are on the screens all the time right now, right? Well, Especially you, right now. I'll tell you this right now, too. If you're not used to wearing glasses as well, when you first get your glasses, your eyes might be adjusting to wearing glasses as well. Like yeah, it's yeah, something yeah. different if you're not used to wearing them. However, I will say over time, yeah. like when she, what three days maybe to a week once your eyes are kind of adjusted it is going to save your eyes so much like yes. the headaches that you get from looking at a screen yes. that you think it's because you're tired or you're dehydrated guarantee it's because you're looking at a screen and the blue it light is, and you don't even a, the think blue about light is it. attacking your eyes yeah right little itsy bitsy phone screens same thing so these glasses are going to help out so much with that it blocks out majority of the rays yeah. and the thing is too they're super cute and stylish and like they are I've, really cute. They're I've, probably the cutest I've seen. I know. In and I've blue always light. liked wearing kind of glass. Like I liked wearing glasses sometimes. Yes. Right. We can all admit as yeah. girls, like we put on the glasses sometimes this for a, a fashion cute statement. Look. Yeah. Fashion statement. Now you can be now like, they're helping I you. need them. Right. Yeah. Even if you don't have prescription, you'd yes. be like, People I are like, need are those them. fake glasses? I get no, headaches. they're blue lens glasses. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and these ones don't, this is important to say that they don't have that tint where nope. if you go to Amazon or if you go to any of these differ, TV and you get the whatever, cheap, and you get yeah. the blue lights, like they'll have a little bit of a yellow tint or a little bit of a blue tint and it looks and feels weird. These they look are terrible in pictures too. completely clear. Yep. You don't even notice that you have them on and they're going to save your eyes, save your sleep, save your headaches, save Everything. your life. Probably your marriage. I don't want to be, be less- too... You'll be less uh, irritable. Exactly. I don't want to be too dramatic, but it's going <laughs> to save your life. No, I do love Felix Grey, though. They're great. Exactly. So. Um, so go to Felix Grey Glasses. That's G-R-A-Y, by the way. Felix Grey mm-hmm. Glasses.com forward slash broettes. You're going to get free shipping because that's where everyone's going to get you right now. So free shipping is fucking huge. Yeah. Now. Next. We were talk- next. Um, well, we did hair, but um, at home spa. At mm-hmm. home spa. So I'm all about pampering yourself a little bit. If you have some downtime and you finally have a time to take care of yourself, do Core it. Or and treat right? yourself. And a lot of this stuff is all available on Amazon or online. And I know Amazon right now, like they only have shipping. They're only doing this. They're only shipping necessary items, I guess, or essential items to people. And all the rest is taking like a month long a month i think right now it's two weeks which is so, good but i'll tell you this do it i looked up this hair curling iron on amazon and i wasn't gonna get it till like april 30th yeah. i looked it up online which was the same price at their website and i got it in four days which maybe it's better to go to people's direct website I think right it is now too. to just give you're them, supporting the yeah. small businesses yeah, yeah, you're yeah, supporting yeah. the like mom and pop shops and anyone can use this chance right now and i'm telling you right now with all the for at least big companies like free shipping and online shopping, they're doing what yeah. they can to help you guys out. Yeah. So I had, so really quick, Fashion Nova. Have you heard of them? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Fashion Nova, I had a... It's kind of like an ASOS, right? Yeah, yeah. I had a, like a gift certificate from them because I returned some stuff. So I had $113, right, on a gift card. Okay. I bought 15 things, like two blazers, like five tops, like a jeans, like Dang. a couple jeans. No joke. Yeah. They had 40% off and they let you use your gift card and your 40 they let you use all like codes okay so i used the 40 percent off plus a code plus, plus a, a gift code. card i got like literally 15 17 things for four dollars with free shipping like now's the time folks now's the time <laughs> so with uh with at home spa this is what i use so i have this aztec secret indian healing clay and like all the girls swear by it have you ever heard of it before no oh my god is it a face mask it is this face mask okay 
you it's powder so you put it in it's a little jar and you can either mix it with uh, apple cider vinegar or water i mix it with both because okay. if you do apple cider vinegar it might be a little bit too much for your face yeah, especially yeah. you have sensitive skin so i mix it with both you do one part uh the mask one part of the liquid you put it on it's kind of like bubbles and fizzes on your face and it yeah. sets and you kind of look like the scary dude like rock dude from you know like the marvel movies yeah but you rinse it off with hot water and i'm telling you it cleans out your impurities it makes your skin super soft it it always helps when i have breakouts so i use that right and I put it on with these silicone mask brushes, which are super easy to do. Yeah, Again, yeah. you can get them online. And then after that, I'll like steam my face and like kind of get my extraction tools and get out the rest of the junk. Yeah. And then I put on like a Burt's Bees or whatever else, like hydrating mask or brightening mask and use a jade roller and roll oh, that shit. on my face. You're really and those get, jade you're really rollers are like there. super awesome. This is what all the um, Asian ladies do, right? Yeah. Like been doing it for the longest time. And that's the reason why they have amazing. I mean, sure, there's so many other reasons. And for sure. Their jeans, they just have gorgeous for skin, sure. right? Because they always take care of it. But you I know, you're Puerto Rican. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and they use a jade roller on their face and puts in the moisture. Boom. I did that like two or three days ago and my face was feeling amazing i was gonna try the renee Rallow, uh berry the weird yes i would want to get that too yeah, yeah yeah so i think i'm gonna do that i saw one that too tonight. and i was like did you I get know. it um yeah i have it <gasps> she sent it and i'm gonna i don't know i'm gonna try it dude do it tell me how it i goes. just like anything that's like a tightening right even if that's if it doesn't even You'll work love after the aztec secret indian okay. healing play then because it Cause tightens like, so much yeah and but it you, does you can't just it tighten off. while you're doing it. But I hope that it does kind of leave a little remnants of something, right? Because it tricks you because it like tightens the stuff dries yeah. and tightens it. But I hope it does something a little bit. You know, we'll see. Yeah. But that, like all this stuff you can easily get. I mean, I had most of this stuff before. Like the only thing I bought was yeah. the mask applicators because it's so much easier than my fingers. You get yeah. so much more on. But yeah. I'm telling you right now, it was stuff like that where it kind of like, calmed me down a little bit and i was in oh, my little good. oasis of in my own world like i shut my i mean i don't know how it is it is with kids i shut my bathroom door and like chris knows leave me the fuck alone yeah right? and i just try to chill in there maybe even sometimes like put on music just surf the web while doing it yeah, or just yeah, relax yeah. and yeah. finally like pluck some eyebrows and take care of myself sure. get that random chin hair <laughs> feels like the whiskers are growing more more but I have time <laughs> to stress? pluck them. I know. <laughs> like, is it hormones? Does is stress, it stress? Make your I don't hair know, but like, grow more? Oh, yeah. No. I'm like, every day, I'm like, I have time do you think to we just do this. Ha- do you think we're noticing them more because we have a little bit more time on our hands? Maybe. Do you think we're just missing them? I was trying to figure out what it is. I'm like, is it more? Or exactly. Am I just like paying attention to it more? Because I can sit there at the mirror for fucking an hour now instead of, you know? Yeah. I will hmm, say that's one thing I kind of enjoyed. I do a lot of like looking back and, you know, on life and stuff. And when I was younger, I, ha- I felt like I had all the time in the world. I would sit my ass in the sink, right? As oh, a kid. God. And I would sit there for hours. This is when we had the sperm eyebrows. I was still sitting in the sink in my 20s. Back in the day. Yeah. Oh, I, I think I stopped after right? high school. Yeah. Really? But yeah. Because, well, college doesn't really work that well because the, the sink was terrible. Well, I'm shorter. And then the military, like, yeah, you're that not didn't work s- either. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh... But I would just sit there and pluck, right? And I felt like I had hours, so many hours on my hands to pluck and make sure the smoothest skin. We had too skin. much time to pluck. That's why they were so thin. Right? And now if I get five minutes before I go to bed, I'm like, damn, these are really bad. Yeah. And half the time I don't like when Chris is sitting there watching me because I'm kind of like, man, I want to pluck the Oh, chin I've gone way past me. that. And I used to not, but I've gone way past that where I'm just like, I don't care. Why well, that's like me. I don't really care chin. now, but there are some days where I'm feeling a little bit more self conscious sure. of it than others. No, I get you. Um, but now I'm sitting there going, this kind of reminds me of back in the day a little bit. I have a little bit more time to, yeah, maybe that's to dedicate it. to it. Maybe so that's it. maybe I think for some people, having a schedule helps them, right? Some people feel like their lives are a little bit thrown off because they're so used to having a schedule every day Yeah, that maybe you should just make yourself your own schedule, right? Like wake up before 10, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe take a walk in the morning with the dogs, make yourself some breakfast, like have one task that you want to get done that day. Maybe like something with your spouse, like, oh, let's work on a puzzle for a few hours. Like, I, don't, you know what I mean? I don't know. Some people do puzzles. There's a lot of people <laughs> doing puzzles. There is, and I don't fucking get it. Me but neither, because so my grandma, my grandma did them it. all the time. Uh, I've got like my twenty-year-old friends doing. Like, it. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? I, I set aside like at least an hour and a half to work out and stretch. You know, sure. Too. So do that, sure. and then maybe set after that, set up some time to like do an in-house project. So like I spring clean the whole upstairs, and Chris 
put huge shelving all along the whole garage. And then I have to say, then don't beat yourself up if you don't get to. Correct. That. No, no, no. <laughs> Try. But well, I think I'm it's a good like, idea. I'm, I'm a saying a little idea. bit each day sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if this, if you're a schedule person, if not, who, like, whatever. I think, I think that's and the then, biggest thing with this is people's not having a schedule. Like, we go crazy. We well, that's what I'm saying. Some people crazy. have or a to do list. Like, I notice that unless, unless I, if I don't have a list of stuff reminding me of things to do, I'll sometimes be at the end of the day and go, shit, what did I even get done today? Like, yeah, what exactly. And I'll sometimes get hard on my, get down on yeah, myself yeah, yeah. and be hard on myself and go, what did I even accomplish? Yeah. If I have a list to go back on and look and it keeps me kind of in check, like everyone's so different. So if this applies, it applies. But I no, think I sometimes like it'd be like, hey, I'm at, now's my time to take an hour or something to take care of my fucking self. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Because we have the tendency to really put, and we just as women especially, put our needs on hold for everyone else. And yeah. I'm sure as a mother, yeah, it's even more so, yeah, right? Because you're taking care of kids, taking care of kids, and just stressing about them. And um, yeah, I definitely. But it, when I do have a little bit of time, it's like I just want to sit in bed and watch something. That's what I'm saying. Or even have a few days. Like there are days sometimes where I'm like, I'm gonna sit in bed all day, and the only reason why I'm gonna get out is to take shit. God, that sounds uh, amazing. to go get some food and hop back in bed and i have days like that and i'm telling you those are glorious so well, it's good yeah. to have a, it's good to have a balance yeah you know what i mean but schedule that out like dude saturday's gonna be my fucking my down day where i'm like i'm gonna do whatever the hell i want saturday i should like you know what i mean yeah i need to get these extensions out what are you gonna do with yours my lady did mine before you did she moved them up but yours are a little bit different than mine you have the beat it want right i have the, the bonded the fuse yeah so they'll be okay, but the quality of the hair itself is kind of like getting fucked up. See, I have so, tape in, so those are really easy to move up. Well, I don't. I wouldn't move them up myself. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they're easy. What? But so like, I only have like ten. I think little tape in oh, now because okay, because okay, okay. my hair is really long. I just get them for thickness. Yeah. And uh, she moved them up, but I'm just saying like, if they come out, they come out, and they come out really easily with yeah, like yeah, oil, yeah. like coconut oil. Oh shit. Mm hmm. Once they start coming out, your yours do not, because I've had fusions before. No, you have to actually like have the solution. I know. You have to have the like cracker, the yep. fucking like special. And thing. you don't want to do it yourself either, because it might pull your hair out. I do it myself sometimes, because I just have the shit to do it. Right? Do you? I is the to... solution okay? It doesn't, because um, it's so... the same solution that they use. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, but it's just like the and process. You want a yeah, too. the process is you're always gonna lose. You're gonna crack a couple eggs, right? Yeah. You're gonna lose some hair, but. I don't know. I might take him out. There's anyway. jo- I mean, there's jokes going around about her girls not getting what we're I gonna mean, look like. When the we're waxing out. and the eyelashes Dude. and the hair and like some girl I think took off her fake eyelashes and planted them like in a little <laughs> like potting plant and did like R I P to oh, her eyelashes. Nice. You know what I mean? Oh, one last thing I wanted to say is a uh, lash boost. So it's by Rodan and Fields, but you can Does that one get work it- well. Yeah, so that's like the best in the biz. Is it? If you use it for four weeks. That's so expensive, isn't it's it? It's 150 bucks for the tube. I'm just saying, if you want one that absolutely works, if you have four weeks in quarantine and you want to come out with beautiful lashes, I'm not saying that everyone has that money or anything. I'm just throwing it out there. You know it, which one I use? Hmm. Grande lashes. Grande lash. Grande lash. Where's that? Uh, I don't know. I think I just. I think you can get Sephora or something. Does it work? I mean, I've always had healthy eyelashes. I mean, but you can see my eyelashes are fairly long. Yeah. But I just put it on from time to time if I remember, and it, yeah, it helps. So this Rodan this keeps feels them like if you did buy it now and use it for four weeks, like you would. Promise you, no. Is it question. like an off-brand Latisse kind of? No, it's a more. Um, it's a less chemical. Uh, Latisse, but More it's Rodin and Fields, so it's the uh, proactive people. Yeah, the art. But do they have? An, is you it can art? get them online. Uh-huh. Yeah, you don't need to go through a. A person or whatever. Is it more expensive? You go through a person. Does that no? Curiosity? What I found out is it's the exact same price. Then what's the point of having uh, the people? Is uh, it just like reps uh, pushing their product more? Yeah, for their multi multi level marketing. But Periods, anyways, period scheme. <laughs> it's the only one that I can tell you without without any question works. Right. Oh, smart. And the Latisse is. 
that one does really it did make my eyelids a little bit dark yeah which i didn't like but i mean it worked it was almost like spidery though whereas lash boost boost just works with your actual lashes and makes them yeah. longer and more healthy it's not like weird spider different kind of hair you know what i'm saying there's an off-brand anyway. latisse that my old um eyelash lady used to give me so i used to get eyelash extensions back in 2010 when they first were like coming out Ooh. i got them for my birthday nice and my eyelash lady did them super cheap which i'm i think it was like 75 dollars for the whole set which is super cheap now nice well actually it was 75 with tip Dang. yeah now and they like look great 250 oh, yeah. for your first and situation. i was going on my first deployment and i'm telling you right now after wearing them for like what i think i did them for a year I was so insecure about my eyelashes, and honestly, they were like looking pretty bad. They were gone because you do them for so long yeah, yeah. that they were so short and stubby. And she gave me it's called Caraprost. I think okay. you have to get um, prescription, possibly like Latisse, but it was an off brand. But she anything, would, yeah, she would sell it to me, nice. and I did it when I was deployed. Dude, my eyelashes were so fucking long that the uh, flight doc before I left Afghanistan was like, you know, you're not allowed to have fake allowed to have fake eyelashes in theater and i was like i don't have fake eyelashes on sir he's like yes you do you need to take them off right now that's not funny and i was like sir i do not have fake eyelashes on i just have a little swipe of mascara my eyelashes were never ever that long in my life what's it called i mean can you still get it i think i mean i don't know probably but girls right there they were up to my fucking they were stunning and isn't it amazing what long eyelashes can do for a girl oh my god it's really it literally if I had one wish, if a genie came Me out too. of a bottle right now and said, do you want to be super skinny? Do you want to have long b- blush hair? Do you want to blah, blah, blah? I would have been like, nope. The only thing I want is thick, long lashes and everything else will look good. I think it just everything gives women, and I'm not saying you have to have them, right? No, you don't. I'm just saying but they I'm saying will a make little you bit feel more better. Of it, it's just like, I, honestly, if I had long like natural eyelashes that were kind of like darker ready or whatever because there's some people out there who have them even guys i'm like fuck you you it's don't need mostly those. guys and very few girls do it's but very anyway. but even those guys that have them it, they, it looks kind of feminine it is a feminine them. look it's a feminine look so i'm saying i would probably never wear makeup again i wouldn't even care no. right to highlight other feminine looking like features hair. i would not wear c- concealer i wouldn't wear blush anything if <laughs> yeah, i just no. had Really, <laughs> it would be a dream come true. Mine are so short and stubby. I guess maybe that's like a, a just always dream of mine. Oh, okay. But um, I think that just like makes everything okay. The girl from um, Below Deck, you know the like, she's the chief stew, super hot. Do you ever watch Below Deck? Yeah, it's, it's the Hannah? worst show on Bravo. But Hannah or not the other one. So not that season, oh, but she's her. the like totally valley girl one that like. She's older. I know. Kate. 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 Kate, Kate, Kate. Yeah. She was like, you can never be too skinny or too rich or have too long of lashes. And it's true. <laughs> um, I love her. But anyway, uh, we should probably get to Dude. the bro at. Yes. Who was I'm, submitted. I'm excited about this bro at. By a girl, which we love. Oh, no. Sorry. This one was, wasn't. I well, as I said, I, I, <laughs> That's listen, fine. I will Look, say that it's fine. I will say this. We've been getting a ton of bro at submissions in mainly by girls now because of after you guys listening and thank you guys so much we've Love had it. like a few girls even send in multiple people okay um i kind of i do them in order right oh, by okay, which they okay. come we in we don't want to miss anybody even the no, guys no. we don't want to miss you and but so go this ahead. one's been in for a while got it let's um, do it so i just want to make sure so this one's from clancy clancy hit us up before remember on the live and was saying like oh my god i yeah. bought something from tiffany and like i bought it from my girlfriend oh yeah yeah, and yeah. i was hoping you yeah, guys yeah, can like yeah. shout out or say hi to her oh, okay nice so he, i was just like do some, you know send her in his broad because he said she's Perfect. amazing Perfect. okay so he said hey my name's clancy and i would like to nominate my girlfriend uh chantelle heath for drinking broad of the week she has recently been accepted into physical therapy school in arizona after her second time of applying to finally fulfill her dream of becoming a physical therapist and i couldn't be more excited and proud of her she is such a determined woman uh woman who will stop at nothing to accomplish whatever she sets her mind to no matter how many obstacles life decides to throw her um, making her, I think, a great nominee um, for Drinking Broet. I love her with all of my heart, and I have no idea where I'd be without her in my life. I am a lucky man. I'm very proud of you, Chantel, and I know that you're going to do great down in Arizona. We love your guys' show and have been a fan of Jesse since the early days of Ross Patterson. We are now a new fan of Tiffany and her American Heartline, 
Uh, she absolutely loves her sweater from there, by the way. So thank you guys so much for all the laughs and the conversation that we were able to share because of you guys and everything you guys do for us. Oh my god! I know. I kind of have. I have goosebumps. Me I don't too. Have Makes goosebumps. it all I have goosebumps. worth but it. What a cute couple. What a great dude, girl. When you guys even just ride us and like tell us that you appreciate us or you love us or that you're so glad we talk about these topics, like this is what continues to like light the fire in us and keep yeah. us passionate. Like it's you guys. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I, I just we love have it. we have a healthy dose of crippling <laughs> uh, insecurity. So if you guys just let Listen. us know that you're listening, that you're having a good time, We're whatever human. it may be, the whole show isn't going to be gangbusters. Sorry, no. but we love you guys. I'm glad that you guys both I listen. Know. That's so cool. Like we love hearing from you yeah. guys. We love when you guys comment and on the stuff on social media. Chantel, Heath? yeah, Chantel, Heath. Chantel. I love her name, Chantel. Kill it, girl. Um, you got this. Anyway, you guys can follow us on shit any social All of media the things. Follow Find um, us on everything. Hey, ladies, try and find us on um, Instagram. We need yeah. we need some more gals. We do need some more. We're gals putting on Instagram. more like just female stuff, weird, funny stuff that you guys would get and the guys would hate. Yeah. So there you go. Well, the thing is too is when you think about it, this started off as like you know a guy thing, right? The, the drinking bros, and, and it, it I, is a lot of it. Still, it it is still is. Still. Like yeah, we yeah. have a lot of man fans that we but really we also love. want both. But we do this for the. This is at the end of the day. This is really truly for the so ladies. Almost like the Bachelor. Like we want guys and girls to like listen together. Yeah. Or maybe learn a little something. Maybe when we're talking about something about your girlfriend, she looks over at you and goes, yep. "Uh huh." Listen. Do you know up? how many guys yeah. I've had right into me or our page and say, "Listen, I have learned so much from you guys, and it's actually improving my relationship Beautiful. with my wife or my girlfriend or whatever." Beautiful. Um, you can ask. For nothing guess more. what we have we're getting into your guys' itunes reviews we have shirts coming oh yes that say lady boner and that say big to energy there's a beautiful yes. heather olive green like a, a beautiful military heather green yeah, and yeah. a beautiful heather maroon color and for those who left us reviews we're going to do a random drawing and some of you guys are going to be getting the shirts a week before everyone else so That's thank you awesome. guys and it's going to be through american heart yeah AmericanHeart.co, which is my website. So we'll have it on there. We'll have a whole Drinking Broads page. But we'll send those out to you guys beforehand. So keep listening for that. We'll shout you guys out and try to get your guys' addresses. And hey, thanks so much for all the support and love you guys have shown us. Stay strong. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know. Stay Woke in. Up this morning with the sunshine in my eyes. Oh my god, my hair. <laughs> down, down, down. She's no, I, you know, I like the other one. I uh, saw a t- How's oh, that one go? I saw a tiger. tiger. Yeah. And it changed my, my life. life. Anyways, I just love the other one. Fuck Carol Bass. Justice for Travis. Team Joe Exotic. Love you guys. Love you. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on. Every girl I'm moving on. Yeah, don't show better things to do.